Welcome back to Third Phase Moon. Blake Cousins along with Brent and Apollo Asteria. We're going over videos. Take a look at this. O sea, siempre dicen que tipo los ovnis aparecen en Estados Unidos y es como una burla, pero esto está cayendo. ¿Qué? Desapareció todo. Desapareció todo. ¿Qué? What the fuck? Acabamos de ver okay, un fenómeno. Eh, no, we're looking at the video once again, uh, kind of breaking news. We're trying to figure out if this is some kind of Elon Musk rocket, some kind of secret Space Force launch, but many people on the ground, a lot of eyewitnesses capturing uh, this major event. Again, we're trying to get more information, but you can tell from the people that are recording this that there's some kind of an extraordinary event that's going on. And uh, guys, I want to get your opinions. Maybe we could figure out this together by tomorrow and we'll have some updates but right now we don't have the answers but something something just happened yeah again Blake this just came in earlier it's kind of breaking news so let's get that update here soon we'd like to get that as as soon as possible what's happening here in my opinion is probably a rocket launch people may be confused on the ground you can see there's a stage right there in my opinion i believe this is a rocket launch but we got so many ufos coming up we're just getting started so buckle up watch this All right, we're looking at this uh, once again. Some kind of black hole cutting through the clouds. I, I just don't know what to make of it. The silhouette seems to resemble a, finds a disc shaped object. Apollo, any, any idea what we're looking at here? And when I look at this, I see a black disc. I mean, it seems to be hovering, but it's kind of moving slightly up and down. And it kind of makes me feel like it may be magnetic in nature with polarized magnets that are kind of keeping it up. I don't know. That's what I see when I'm looking at it. What are your thoughts? I like this. Uh, the video, the contrast, the, this kind of uh, orange sky that's illuminated. Uh, whatever this is uh, creating this contrast of this disc just floating up there it, it seems legit could it be something off in the distance this thing could be huge we just don't know again we don't see the approach of this object or it taken off that'd be uh, really good evidence to get forward uh, this is just a short clip that somebody submitted uh, we just don't know what it is that's why we're sharing it uh, we're appreciating Appreciating everybody from around the world joining us on this live premiere and it really helps if you join in on the conversation and let us know your opinions of what we're looking at again we're just trying to share you the phenomenon and we don't have the answers but once again we're looking at something off at a distance whatever this thing is it's quite large and I'm not seeing any kind of anything conventional about it it's, it's remains stationary in, in the sky there and we don't see any kind of means of propulsion prop propeller blades it kind of gets old saying that but again what's keeping up there that's that's the big question yeah i don't see any wires keeping this thing up uh, the person that was filming this if i saw this I, I think i'd be a little bit more excited who knows maybe this is just a clip of more that he has in his archive uh, it's interesting footage again that's why we're sharing it it looks like a classic ufo that if you saw this if you captured it hey send it straight to third phase we're interested in this kind of footage again a big episode tonight a lot of more ufos coming up here it is Up here and 
between St. Clair and Marysville. What the hell is that? Lighting up the whole sky that way. Never seen nothing like it, man. Crazy. Well, get back to the sawn this wooden pole wire and get back in the house. We've got the phenomenon right here between St. Clair and Marysville. Something was captured, a pillar of light. I've got to fill in more videos are going to be coming into third phase. And don't forget, our contact is in the description. But as we're looking at this phenomenon, we're seeing this pillar of light with, with no explanation. Obviously, it's out of the ordinary. You can hear it in the person's voice who captured this. Brent, any ideas? Is there some kind of like super party going on and this is the beacon you got a big rave the party that we all missed who knows but I, I like it because you can see the light just stop at that point maybe about 200 300 feet up it has this nice glowish uh, golden color this luminescence is really cool I like it again we don't know what it is could it be a celestial event You know, I wonder when I look at this if the light is coming up from the sky or down from the ground and uh, or like, you know, from the ground shooting upwards. I can't really tell, but, you know, I don't see anything above the tractor beam. This is what it kind of looks like a tractor beam to me, but um, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's coming from the ground. That's my thoughts. No, I'm looking at this and it definitely a good point there reminds me of a flashlight and the point of the beam of the light uh, usually is thinner at the projection point which is what I'm seeing at the top and it seems to get wider at the bottom so maybe maybe this light is maybe coming up from the top and maybe not from the surface I'm not exactly sure but could there be something up there in the sky projecting this could it be some kind of project blue beam program uh, i'm not exactly sure guys again a lot of videos coming into third phase sometimes we just got to skip uh to the to the material as it comes in in the short amount of time that we have as we post it out but brent's brought this to my attention and i want to bring it up on the timeline right now guys uh, this was quite interesting i want to get your thoughts as we uh, roll it guys take a look at this Whoa, we're looking at this and it is incredible footage coming in uh, to third phase of moon. There's some ball lightning going on here, Brent. Look at this thing dance. Yeah, this thing struck. It's, it's really good footage. We got this plasmic phenomenon happening in front of the camera as it darts from right to left and has this uh, created this electrical charge that created this static ball of electricity. This is amazing. If it's real, we're looking at something special. Some of it looks a little like maybe it could have been done in post. It almost has this Ghostbuster feel to it, like the phantoms are coming out of the ground. If this is real, like I said earlier, this is exciting. I'm wondering if this is some sort of firework or definitely ball lightning. I mean, you see a flash of lightning and it just kind of sort of pulses with light and change it. But it's interesting because it changes directions as soon as it does that. It almost seems like it's alive. Yeah, reminds me of a tadpole. Um, we're looking at this thing dancing around and it's quite amazing. It's acrobatic and uh, dynamic. Could it be some kind of biological life form? And uh, it's being ignited uh, through this uh, electric blast, this lightning bolt, whatever it is. It, it's pretty amazing stuff. And uh, I'm interested in the weather phenomenon. And that's why we ask you if you shoot weather phenomenon, whether it's a UFO or not, it's quite crazy. And did you guys see what's going on around the internet right now? This one's quite wild. So we want to find out about this, uh, this video 
kind of breaking the internet. I'm not exactly sure if we've seen this before. Uh, maybe if you guys could uh, refresh our memory and we have this in our archive. I think it's something that uh, we've never shared on Third Phase of Moon. But again, is this too good to be true? That's one of the reasons why we may have not posted this in the past. But again, we're, we still don't have any answers at the moment. Again, maybe tomorrow we will. Is, is there some kind of craft seemingly defined all means of propulsion here or physics yeah Blake this one does look familiar again uh, this has been making the rounds on the net what I think what we're looking at is new footage of kind of more of an extended version of what's been released I like the quality of this too you can see the sharp details of the craft it looks in my opinion metallic and you got these lights that are circling but it has this close encounter feel excellent footage if it's real we're looking at uh, something not made on this planet but it could be a hoax uh, in my opinion I think this would be seen by thousands of people that that would break the net uh, we're looking at something that is captured by one person at the moment what are we looking at you know I wish when I see this video that I could see this thing move around I feel like it's kind of stuck in one spot so it makes me wonder if it's some sort of just like a light you know that's like coming up off the ground but um, it could because it doesn't seem to be moving around you can see with the uh, electric lines right in front of it that it's just kind of standing there but it kind of reminds me of the Gravitron I used to ride at the carnival when I was younger <laughs> but it definitely looks really cool You know, look at it. You, you see it behind the electric lines there, which gives it some scale. So whatever it is, it's quite large. Again, is this the best smoking gun uh, possible? Maybe an abduction scenario going on here? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully we could find out more. But whatever it is, it's not CGI. But this is captured within the camera optic, uh, optic situation, whatever camera is filmed in. It, it's very practical. So that's very interesting to me now more videos into third phase moon let's pull up the next one guys thumbs up for uh, this breaking news as it comes in well i hope we didn't just bust everybody's home stereo system but here we go again Okay, a little slow motion here, one more time. That's an interesting lightning bolt. This one seems that, again, it's this pillar of light kind of phenomenon. When you see lightning, usually it's very, very um, fractual. And this one's a beam, a straight beam of light. That's very weird to me, Brent. When I got this video earlier, somebody pointed out like they could see a UFO within the middle of the strike. And we're gonna get a good close up here. And I got an opinion about that. There it is. It's a good shot, but I'm thinking it's just a point of light, a street light back in the background that was in a perfect uh, situation to be in the pillar of light, leading to leave people to think that there might be a craft in there. I'm not sure, but again, good phenomenon what we're looking at here. And this was a really incredible beam of light. It looked like a tractor beam, like way better than honestly the last video in my opinion. But I mean, this is like a, a pulse of light that is just like very radiant. And this street light, it definitely does look like a street light in the middle of it to me. But, um, you know, I'm wondering if maybe it was some sort of lightning or some sort of electric phenomenon that like got attracted to this metal telephone pole or street light. I like the, the people's reactions that they're freaking out. Uh, again, perfect timing to be in the right place at the right time. Uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. And again, this straight trajectory beam that comes out of the sky or maybe from the ground up. It, again, it happens so quickly. And again, people are speculating that maybe UFOs live within lightning blasts. But again, this very straight beam of light 
it's very bizarre. Now, again, more videos. Uh, Brent was saying, you guys aren't going to believe this one. So I'm kind of excited for this next upload right here. So again, thank you for joining us on this live premiere. Let's roll the next one. Are you pulling it up, Brent? Okay, here we go. A few more seconds. Hit it. Celestial event, a uh, green meteorite falling out of the sky, uh, or something otherworldly. The green eeriness to it is what trips me out here. Could it be space junk? It could be all of this. Uh, we're looking at a, a nice phenomenon. I, I believe, in my opinion, this is a celestial event, but the, the, the beauty that it was captured, who knows? Look how large that orb is. Could it be something not from this world? You know, I've done a lot of research with plasmoids because I've actually experienced this phenomenon in person before and it really blew my mind. Same color and everything. And from my research, it really seems that it has something to do with balls of plasma or like th this electric kind of ball of light. And uh, this is a phenomenon that can come up out of volcanoes. Uh, I've, it can come down from the sky. People witness this a lot. So definitely interesting. You know, we've had these big celestial events over Russia and Siberia, major explosions. And this one seems to have faded out. It did have this aspect to it that it was going to be bigger and it could have exploded. But I have to, I have a feeling that this is pretty much higher up in, on the Earth's surface, closer up in the memosphere at that level, 70 to 80,000 feet. Definitely. Look at that. It's going through the clouds or it's illuminating the clouds uh, in front of it. It's a nice orb. It does, you don't see any tail kicking off of this thing. That's the interesting part about this. Again, uh, this episode tonight, it's all about the phenomenon. We're looking at this pillar of light that this gentleman uh, gave to uh, the social media to us at the same time. Is this a uh, something natural is this a phenomenon is this man-made with new technology what are we looking at i mean like i said i still kind of wonder if this is just um light coming up from the ground but um you know it, it is really interesting that it seems to be staying there in one spot and getting a little brighter the light seems to be fluctuating differently and you know, who knows, maybe there's something over there that is like, projecting a light down onto the field. A lot of video evidence in tonight's episode, and I'm sure 2024 is going to be a wild ride as we're looking at just this crazy stuff. So, again, this is a, an amazing time to be in and the video cameras and the cell phones every everybody's uh, stepping it up and i think a lot more people are aware of what's really going on in our skies on a daily basis 24 7. so as we look at these videos we just want to question and ask questions and hopefully we could find some answers but we're going over incredible footage just in vintage VHS or is this mini DV footage? All I know it's coming in from 2003. Never before seen footage that I've uh, been privy to. We're looking at it right now. Brent, your thoughts. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. Caught my eye just a couple days ago and we said we need to share this because we're looking at this uh, disc shaped object that's horizontal moving from right to left. We've heard of this from eyewitness accounts of people saying when you see a flying saucer, the, the means of propulsion could go in many ways, but most often you'll see it in this horizontal position right before takeoff. Cool footage. Wow, this is really interesting the way it comes out horizontally like that. I actually have never seen that before, so uh, I almost thought it was triangular in appearance at first. But uh, it definitely looks like there's a lot of light shining off this one side here, so I think it's legit. Broad daylight footage, uh, silvery disc, uh, 2003. I would have to uh, 
rule out any kind of uh, means of CGI or manipulation. What we're looking at is definitely uh, captured uh, by the person shooting this. And I'm glad it's out. Look at as how its flight pattern is so direct and it's not very, it's not oscillating. It seems that this thing has some means of propulsion that I'm not aware of, that's for sure. Yeah, Blake, what I like about this is this thing looks metallic. You can see the glint as the sun hits off this craft. Could it be something otherworldly? Maybe something one of ours. We just don't know. Again, going back to the sightings of people that are seeing this, the size of propulsion, the ways of means of these discs moving. We're looking at something special, especially back in 2003. Again, there's no manipulation in this. In my opinion, this is legit. Yeah, you know, apparently this is an older video, and I think it's really important that, you know, people are aware of that the fact that there's probably tons of older videos out there hidden in archives that aren't being released to the public. So if you have anything like this, please send it to us. Now, new footage just in. We're looking at it. Watch this. All right, we're gonna roll this once again, and guys, I wanna get your opinion, and if, if you're joining us live, give us a big thumbs up. Again, we've got reports of what just happened in Miami, and we're gathering all the evidence and testimony, and that's coming up in tonight's episode. But again, these videos come in, the phenomenon, and we're looking at it right now. Are we looking at something biological in nature here? We're seeing something suspended in the sky, uh, quite a ways up. We'll see the cameraman pull back, this thing's quite some distance again we're looking at something in focus this is legit this is not cgi or manipulated are we seeing something maybe adulterated maybe some sort of balloon tethered with things on on it just to create this phenomenon maybe pull a trick i don't know some people might say this is biological whatever it is it's real it's up there it's unidentified we don't know what it is this is suspicious yeah, this uh, object seems to have tentacles coming off of it, so I think that's really interesting. I mean, it almost does look like a biological, like a squid-like thing. I mean, you know, there's so many biological experiments happening out there in these different programs. I see a lot about that, these chimeras that they've been working on, these different projects, and, you know, who knows? Like, there's a lot at the bottom of the sea, you know, who knows what they've been working on that could be in the sky, so... All right, we're looking at this, and again, we're getting opinions, and I'm liking the chat room tonight. Uh, people are building up for what we're about to share in the next few moments, but uh, biological or some kind of experimental um, apparatus, that's what I'm um, kind of questioning. Guys, if you have any opin opinions, let us know. But uh, Brent, any last words? We've got more videos in just a second, but before we get to it, uh, again, I'm, I'm not seeing these tentacles really they're pretty stationary. They seem heavy to me. They're just not blowing around. 
Yeah, Blake, we've been doing this for almost 15 years now. We've seen these kind of videos come in, uh, some of them not so clear, some of them even closer of these kind of objects. Could it be man-made? Definitely. But again, it's something that we just don't understand. I know that Corbell is going to be dropping a video that's kind of described as a jellyfish type object. We're going to be, we're sharing this right now. Yeah, Corbell redacted the video off the trailer, and this looks exactly like what you might be sharing on the new video coming up. So that's quite interesting. Uh, that's why we share it to you. We, we don't want to hold on to stuff. We want to bring it to you as fast as possible. We don't want to redact videos. Anyway, now more evidence coming into third phase moon. Watch this. Apparent NASA footage from Area 51 leaked. Uh, we're looking at this right now. Uh, again, this has been making the rounds on Twitter, Instagram. We thought we should cover this uh, quickly before we move on to the next subject matter. But again, we're seeing three orbs of light seemingly captured over a secret military base, according to the footage being leaked here. But do uh, you have any more information on this? Yeah, it's a little vague. Let's just keep watching this as this rolls. Yeah, this just came in. It's it's very cool. Uh, we're, people are saying this is from NASA. We can see the, the insignia up there. We can see these three orbs kind of making its way around Area 51. I like the parallaxing that we're looking at here. Do you see it go behind the towers or behind the buildings? I'm not sure. At that point, it kind of does. Very cool stuff. Again, if this is real, we're looking at technology maybe being funded at Area 51 that's not being released to the public. This is pretty cool. Yeah, to me, this video looks very legit like Area 51. It, you know, we, we spent some time there recently and, um, you know, it, it looks like that area in Nevada for sure. And it looks like something being tested. So that's pretty cool. I, I know when we were there recently, we saw a few, like three lights kind of coming together. It looked like orbs in the distance. I'm wondering if Maybe that was this. Pretty cool footage. Absolutely. I'm trying to um, get my memory straight if we've ever shared this video on Third Phase Moon. I, I don't recall ever sharing this video. That's why we're sharing it right now. I think it's the first time uh, people are seeing this on, on a broad spectrum. But again, these lights, and like you say, we're recently at Area 51, the front and the back gates. And Brent saw some strange lights over there at the little alley Inn. Uh, could this be the phenomenon that we're looking at? It's definitely something that I'm not aware of any kind of practical uh, drone that we're looking at or drones. Yeah, definitely saw some weird action that night. There was uh, the phenomenon was taking place. It was hard to capture on video right here. What we're seeing, apparently what we're gathering from the information is that this was leaked from somebody that worked within Area 51 and uh, they tried their hardest to get it out. And right now, are we looking at this for the first time? Again, this is maybe in my memory recall that we've seen this. Is this new footage? Let us know, guys. Incredible footage of the jellyfish. It's been making the news, but new footage has come in. Watch.
Are we looking at what Corbell just dropped a few days ago? It's making the world news, but again, uh, we're looking at the phenomenon closely. And what's incredible is the incredible nature of the phenomenon being captured by people from around the world. And in tonight's episode, we're going to be sharing a lot of evidence. So buckle up. Let's get to it. And right now, we're looking at this footage that has just come into third phase of the moon. Brent, what's your thoughts? Yeah, we're just getting started. We're breaking down uh, pretty much the best jellyfish UFOs that I could gather uh, just within the past 24 hours. And this is a phenomenon right here. We're not looking at FLIR video. We have full color. And we're looking at something that people are saying the Corbell video looks like. It, it's not moving. There's no wavering in this object. In my opinion, I believe this is legit. What we're looking at is a phenomenon. You know, when I see this jellyfish phenomena, I'm noticing there's a lot more of this out there than I really, I thought was originally there besides Corbell's imagery that he's been putting out. But um, the first thing I think when I see it is that it's this bio-organic material. Um, so I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely really interesting. It makes me wonder if maybe they can change shapes and morph. We're looking at the enhanced footage um, to the right of Corbell's video, seemingly showcasing that it seems to be rotating. I'm not exactly sure. Again, it's hard to tell if we're looking at some kind of smudge on the lens or uh, some kind of optic chip on the lens. But in this case, in this full color spectrum video, we're, we're seeing it right now that uh, whatever this is, it's up there in the sky. But it definitely looks very similar to what people are uh, stating that Corbell's video uh, that just recently dropped. Uh, Brent, again, the similarities, is, is it a coincidence? Uh, again, I, I've got a plethora of these kind of objects that are floating. I'm just happy that we're seeing the exact uh, duplicate of what Corbell just dropped. Is it identical? Hard telling. But again, we're, we got much more videos coming up. Check this out. New stuff. Here we go. It's a scary sight soaring across Southern California. That speck in the sky is what appears to be a jetpack. At 3,000 feet, it's streaking past this pilot in a private plane. The close encounter just seven miles. <laughs> It's a scary sight soaring across Southern California. That speck in the sky is what appears to be a jetpack. At 3,000 feet, it's streaking past this pilot in a private plane. The close encounter just seven. Well, you guys remember this uh, a couple of years ago, about a year or so, we broke this uh, news on Third Phase Moon, shared uh, really good quality footage of this. Uh, jetpack man, people may be saying Elon Musk, uh, Bezos, who knows what's up. But uh, again, more footage of the same phenomenon. It's interesting we shared this footage again about a year ago but it's uh, nice to bring back the archive showcasing just the unusual the bizarro look at these animals these dogs they're they're sketched out on what this thing is and it seems like it's almost walking brent here yeah this was a a phenomenon again the dogs capture they're, they're interested in what they're looking at they kind of create a pack of dogs surrounding this object or whatever it is it kind of seems like maybe a, a phantom some people might say a ghost you can see it kind of morphing as it kind of drops down your opinion you know, I'm wondering if maybe the camera or whatever is filming this is picking it up, but if we were actually looking at it in person, if we would actually see it, um, because it, it almost looks slightly interdimensional or I don't know. It, it's really strange. It also makes me wonder if maybe it's like a short little gray guy, honestly. I mean, it's kind of interesting how this comes in in picture here. So we appreciate everybody joining us in this live premiere and uh, the comments keep coming in and we love your opinions from around the world. It really means a lot. We're just sharing with you the video evidence as it comes in right here at Third Phase Moon and we've got a lot more for you tonight. So hit that thumbs up. Guys, wh what do you think this surveillance captured uh, camera captured? It almost reminds me of the Ghostbusters. The what, did, what do they call it, Brent? Slimer? That's it. So, again, who knows? It's crazy. And uh, we don't have the answers, but we have the footage. I think we have some more just coming in. Watch this. Now, things are getting crazy. This video lasts for some time. Let's just uh, let it roll. Uh, notice that it seems to have some kind of legs walking 
along the street captured by multiple surveillance cameras. Captured in 2018, but once again, we want to bring up this kind of unusual activity. The archive is vast right here at Third Phase Moon, and Corbell put out one video. We're sh showcasing many videos from around the planet just to um, let people know that the phenomenon's real. But look at these two, this couple. They're tripping out on stuff here. They don't even know what they're looking at. Yeah, she just runs, she takes off. You can see that she's frightened. We're, we're getting a good close up. This thing seems to be maybe even walking, maybe some sort of cloaking, but you can see the shadow. It almost looks like it has this uh, levitation aspect to it at the same time. I like the, the shimmering dimensions that's bouncing off this object. You can see it kind of seems like maybe it's a, a morphed in some sort of other dimension, people might say. I, I really like the reaction of the people here. They just stand still. They're like, I, I'm out of here. Here we go. Another good close up. What is this? You know, this definitely looks metallic in nature. You can see the light shining off these different parts and they seem to be moving around, but I'm noticing these little spindly legs under it, which is, I don't know. This is very interesting. I, maybe it's some sort of creature but it definitely shows this shadow underneath it on the ground so you can tell that there's definitely something there and obviously this couple seems to be pretty terrified with what they're seeing guys if you see anything like this get your cameras out maybe don't run away and just run towards it and get a better shot that's what i would do but i could imagine people would freak out seeing uh, this kind of stuff if you're there in close proximity to the phenomenon it, who knows how you're going to react but at least the security surveillance cameras capture this and uh, these people's reaction it seems genuine guys i don't see any manipulation here what we're looking at it's there but maybe the digital artifact going on with a low res uh, camera shooting at night creates some kind of distortion and maybe it's just some something simple like some balloons just captured in some kind of subtle drifting uh, wind down the road. But again, hard telling, more footage into third phase moon. Brent, when you showed this to me earlier today, I was I was saying, should we share it? And Brent says, hell yeah. So let's, let's do it right now. Hayır gördün mü? Sana bir şarap mı diyor? Hayır bizim için bu sesler çok önemli biliyor musun? Yani çekebilir misin? Hayır çekebilir misin? Evet. Çekiyor çekiyor çok önemli. Çekiliyor. Şimdi çekilen video kameranın teknik olarak çok yeterli olmaması belli bir yerde duruyor. Tabii. Zoom'u ve belli bir yerden sonra da kuruyor şöyle. All right, so we're looking at this uh, again, a closer look of something happening that definitely seems very similar to, again, what Corbell captured, but uh, we're looking at, looking at this in broad daylight. We're seeing a lot of parallax. We know that whatever this object is, it's up there in the sky. It, it looks very bizarre i don't know what to make of it is a bundle of balloons look at these little orbs on the bottom of it the uh, vamana i i'm not sure guys yeah when it comes to uh getting the best ufos this is pretty much it right here at third phase of moon thanks gang for joining us tonight look at this we're looking at something special right here again this has been going on for hundreds of years people have talked about these organic maybe jellyfish possibly organic things that could float in the sky that look anomalous nothing like we've ever seen this is a phenomenon and that's what we're trying to find out what i like about this is that again it's daylight it's not flare footage it's a uh, from a perspective from somebody on the ground that showcases uh, legitimately that something's up there corbell's video 
people are on the fence. Uh, Mick West debunked it. Apparently, a lot of other people in the field that have really skeptic opinions of what's being dropped. Again, this is unidentified. It's legit. We just don't know what it is. You know, these uh, sort of things that are underneath this UAP here, whatever it is, um, I, at first, I was wondering if it was some sort of like jets that were, you know, pushing out fire underneath it, or if it was, you know, something that's just kind of appearing and disappearing out of reality there. I don't know. It definitely looks kind of interdimensional to me, though. Or maybe it's like this morphing nanotechnology. Who knows? Interesting stuff. Again, uh, the evidence comes in we've got more for you tonight hit that thumbs up if you're enjoying this episode let's roll it a blue entity on the side of a highway seemingly wanting to get to the other side uh, captured night vision or almost a potato this footage is very uh, minimum here but again this footage has just come in. I think we shared this with you, but it's more of an extended version. Again, this phantom biological phenomenon around the world captured from people in multiple places. What the heck's going on here? This would freak me out if I was parked on a, a desert dark road and you saw this thing just fly over the top of your car. You'd be like wondering what's behind you at that moment. It kind of gives me chills on the back of my neck. Uh, is this some sort of hoax that people are, uh, maybe had something suspended by some wire and they created this illusion? But if this is uh, something that just happened by, by chance, we're looking at something strange and creepy. The first thing I see when I see this is Dementors from Harry Potter. That's the first thing that comes to mind for me, and it's definitely pretty terrifying. I mean, but also it could be a black plastic bag? I'm not sure. But uh, this video here it definitely seems like something is trying to cross the road and i don't know i'm like wondering if it's like robotic or something you know like one of those uh food delivery things i mean what are your thoughts brent yeah looking at that they kind of remind me of the portuguese man of war the jellyfish here that's come in on our islands on the shores uh they could give you a bad sting but they have that purplish hue it looks exactly like that again this video Again, showcasing uh, the phenomenon of these flying humanoids, uh, possible jellyfish. Some people say interdimensional beings that are popping in and out. Hard telling. We're looking at something that's being seen all around the world, kind of on a daily basis. Uh, Jeremy Corbell dropped a video. Hey, we, we got about 10 videos on this uh, show tonight showcasing things that the world hasn't seen. Uh, we're just getting started. More videos coming up tonight. Thanks for joining us. Hit that thumbs up. Here we go, check this out. So a close up commercial airliner capturing what people might call the Tic Tac or is it maybe an airplane off at the distance and we're not seeing the wings in the tail? Uh, we wanted to share it with you. It, it looks interesting. I'm not seeing any FAA lights on this. We went frame by frame on it and there's no indication of that. So maybe it is a Tic Tac. Obviously it's out there. Uh, it's one of ours. I don't believe it's ET in nature, but it, interesting stuff here. This definitely looks like a Tic Tac to me. I really love this footage. This is really some great footage here. Um, if you're not familiar with the Tic Tacs, you know, this is definitely a phenomenon that appears over and over and, you know, a lot of people have said, claim that, you know, maybe our government has these sort of uh, UAPs, so who knows, but I love seeing this footage, it's really great. What am I getting on camera right now? What is that? What is that? Big questions. What the heck is it? We've got so much videos. Buckle up. Uh, what the fuck is that? What am I getting on camera right now? What is that? What is that? Oh, the kite. That is oh, not a kite. What the hell is that? Honestly, what is that? A plane of some sort? What the fuck? A drone? What is that? Uh. 
close-up footage of the phenomenon this thing is moving at an extreme rate of speed too fast to be a kite too fast to be a drone in my opinion are we looking at something that is otherworldly or maybe something in a private corporation something that's been tested reverse engineered brent well, the phenomenon's happening. It's happening worldwide. We're seeing footage on a daily basis. This one's really interesting because you can see this kind of dark object as it's moving along right to left at a pretty uh, good steady, the good speed as it goes behind the building. But what I find very interesting is when we get that close up, you can see this kind of wispy tail kind of escaping from the back end. It's, uh, it looks like a tadpole. Could this be biological? There's all sorts of uh, these weird phenomena, the jellyfish. What's happening in the skies? It's up for debate. You can tell it's definitely moving very fast for this trail to be behind it. And I'm wondering if it's almost like a TR-3B or something, because it seems to be triangular when it moves and kind of flips around in the air. You can tell it like right here, right there. You kind of see that. So reminds me of when we saw the jets at Area 51. <laughs> yeah, exciting stuff. Again, the propulsion. We saw the jets at Area 51, but could this be the TR-3B? We've got an incredible video tonight's episode that you're about to see but we've got so much evidence we're about to share with you but are we looking at some kind of craft with propulsion that seemingly defies the laws of physics that's the whole point we're trying to crack the code of new technology and that's where the free energy may lie that's what we're all looking for now more footage just since the third phase guys check this out <laughs> Oh, holy fucking shit, guys. All right, we're rolling it once again. Uh, sorry for the harsh language, but if you saw something like this, maybe it's okay. We're going to let it roll the way it has been on Third Phase Moon, the raw footage. Guys, what do you make of this? Is this some kind of an illusion or big hoax? Or are we looking at something that uh, is ominous? Yeah, Blake, I got this one today. This one captures my eye. Everybody should take a close look at what's happening right here. We see this uh, flash of light, the lightning just hit it. And then we see this apparent shadow, um, like this huge illumined figure in the background behind the trees. It looks like a man walking with a stick and it looks like thousands of feet high. Could this be like a little bit of Project Blue Beam? Who knows? It's a fascinating shot. If this is indeed real, it's a good capture. Could it be an illusion with the lightning and uh, something reflecting off another building or trees creating a shadow effect in the clouds? Hard telling, but uh, this is exciting. I'm glad we're sharing it tonight. Yeah, when I see this, it really looks like someone walking with a cane and they're just kind of uh walking through the clouds there it looks very ominous i mean that's just what it, it looks so obvious to me like you can very clearly see a cane there i mean i'm not saying that there's like a giant behind the clouds but um this is some really incredible footage I, i'm almost wondering you know it looks like lightning obviously but maybe there's some sort of um concert or something going on back there that had some light going off i, I kind of thought that for a second but you can tell there's definitely lightning in there so i don't know maybe there's some sort of shadow that's being lit up again real weather phenomenon creating these illusions uh phantoms possible uh, something that's being invented by our own government project blue beam like i once said again the People on the ground were stunned when they saw this. Again, you see a figure walking with a cane, a stick. Could this be some sort of holographic projection? That's a big question. Again, we got this massive TR-3B coming up, a bunch more footage. We're just getting started, guys. Hit that thumbs up. Let's go.
Okay, really incredible footage coming right here to us at Third Phase of Moon, and check this out. We got some sort of, I don't know if this is an interdimensional portal or Project Bluebeam technology being practiced, or maybe it's just some weird anomaly with the sun and the clouds, but wow, it just lit up right there. So I'm not really sure what just happened there, but maybe it's a UAP, I'm not sure. Definitely a massive weather phenomenon you don't see every day. And it's so great that people are shooting this. Look at this. Uh, maybe the same weather phenomenon during the night. We shared this with you uh, about a year or so ago. But I think it's important that we bring this side-by-side -side comparison. This crazy uh, black hole at night causing traffic to basically almost stop right there in the middle of traffic. Uh, People are pressing their brakes because they're looking at something that they can't explain. Uh, Brett, what are we looking at? Is this the same phenomena that we just shared uh, moments ago in the daytime via the nighttime? Yeah, it's a big question right there. Again, we're looking at this massive blackness surrounded by this light ring, and you can see it suspended in the sky. If this is real, legit, we're looking at a really special weather phenomenon, maybe something extraterrestrial or uh, man-made, some new projects that we're not familiar with. Going back to what happened in Japan just uh, today, looking at this weather phenomenon, again, this guy was driving on the side of the road, got a really good close-up. Again, uh, I'm leaning more towards this as natural. We see punch clouds and we see that, but again, looking at that other footage just moments ago at the nighttime, maybe it could create this kind of illusion in uh, both scapes. Yeah, what I'm noticing with this is that the blackness in the middle of this object is darker than the night behind it. And I think that's really strange. That makes me feel like it's almost like a portal or something. It's definitely very interesting. I mean, I'm also wondering if it's just some object that's, you know, hovering in front of the camera. Maybe it's something that is capable of levitation. But hey, we got some new videos coming up here. That's right, Apollo. We've got incredible stuff. Somebody requested cryptid video. We got it for you. Last night, um, we're looking at something kind of scary captured in a shed. Or is this legitimate? We see something creeping in the shadows as the cameraman passes towards it. You could even see the cameraman shadow at the same time. This thing makes some steps forward. Uh, it's on its uh, hind legs and forward legs, which are extremely tall. And you can see these bright eyes kind of right in the center of this beast, if that's what it is. Uh, if you saw this and crawled into this in the middle of the night, what would you do? Now, uh, the big question, is this legitimate? Uh, is this some sort of hoax? It looks a little wonky, in my opinion. It has this weird uh, motion. It looks maybe like something in a costume. But hey, we could be wrong. A lot of people saw things possibly in Miami. And people are comparing this to uh, the same kind of phenomenon. Maybe if this thing stood up on its hind legs, it would reach 10 feet tall, maybe even higher. It's always exciting to get cryptids here at Third Phase of Moon. I always like to cover those. And, you know, this definitely looks like it could be some sort of cryptid. It also does remind me of some costumes I've seen before. What the f? We just got this in earlier today and we're like, holy shit, excuse my language. We're looking at something, uh, a phenomenon. Uh, we see this bright green laser, a possible lightning strike. Who the hell knows? We're looking at something, hit something on the ground, illuminate everything around it, shock these people on the ground and it, it just lit up everything. It moves uh, right to left and it looks like almost, I could almost say it like we're looking at Luke Skywalker's green lightsaber, the way it just hit the ground there. 
Yeah, and the shock and awe blast is what got me. We're looking at this in, in frames of a surveillance camera captured multiple angles, but let's just listen to this once again, guys. What the f Is this some kind of new weapon from an adversarial country? We're not exactly sure, or could it be some kind of extraterrestrial involvement? We're not exactly sure. We just wanted to share it with you, get more information. If you could give it to us, we'd like to hear from you. But again, the evidence keeps coming into third phase of moon. What are we looking at right here? Broad daylight, a flying disc, massive in formation. This thing has to be at least a, a football field in length here, Brent. You, you shared this with me, and I was wondering if we've seen this before, but this is brand new footage coming in, and we're going to get a close look at this. This isn't some kind of cloud. This is some kind of object with uh, no indication of anything that uh, seems mundane. We're looking at something that is extraordinary and Definitely no explanation, Brent. Yeah, I could say a couple things about this video. I believe it to be 100% legit. We're not looking at anything CGI. We're looking at something that's actually there in the background, quite some distance. Uh, this was captured again in uh, Japan. Japan's kind of lighting up with the phenomenon recently more than usual, which I like. Uh, any J Japanese fans out there, reach out to Third Phase of Moon because we want to see the footage from everywhere uh, everywhere around this planet we're looking at something could be a cloud people might say that but we're, we're not seeing any other clouds in the sky that match anything like this this thing whatever it is craft seems to remain really steady up in the sky it's not moving from left to right it looks like your typical flying saucer or disc if you're looking at it at this uh, degree of angle right here incredible stuff right here at third phase of moon Thanks for everybody for joining us. Again, everybody live, smash that thumbs up. Apollo, what's your opinion on this? Whatever this is, is definitely gigantic. I mean, it looks like a football field sized craft. I don't think it's a cloud. It doesn't look like one to me, but you know, it looks like something that's kind of hovering over this certain area. I'm wondering if anyone else got some footage of this. I know Japan's definitely been lighting up. There's been a lot of ha happening there. So, um, you know, in, in Japan, they are really into the UFO phenomena. So it's definitely really exciting to get videos from them. I love that. And around the world, what we've got next for you, we've been teasing the TR3B footage that we're about to share with you. We're happy uh, about to reveal it for the first time. Check it out. Unconfirmed video from an unknown location of what looks to be some kind of triangular craft rotating uh, stationary in the sky. You hear the dogs react. Uh, are we looking at something legitimate? In my opinion, the video seems to match up in all indications. We're looking at something that is actually up in the sky. The question is, Brent, what is going on here? Yep, the TR-3B kind of makes its rounds around the planet they've been seeing it everywhere and we're seeing it in another country right now Jaime Mosan uh just put this up he he wanted it to be shared around the world and he gave us permission we're looking at something I like the camera pullback right there it pulls it shows that distance and then he, he zooms in this is not easy for CGI artists to pull this off we're looking at this uh apparent triangular craft rotating there very cool as we see birds and maybe insects fly in front of the camera which in my opinion uh, at least gives a nice look of it being real could this been put in by cgi it's a possibility 
could this be all manipulated possibility but we're looking at something in my opinion still needs to be referenced and uh have a more acute eye at it are we looking at something legit I really think this video footage is incredible right here because of just the this slow rotation, how it's slowly turning over this one area. I know that's something that's very common with TR3B sightings. A lot of people will notice they'll kind of come and stop and hover over a certain area for a while before taking a right angle uh, turn and shooting off. That would be the smoking gun. Let's see where the video ends. We're not seeing that at this point, but again, the evidence coming in from around the world, it's undeniable. There's something going on. There's a phenomenon and you can't say that there's nothing going on in our skies. Uh, there's so much things that we can't explain, such as this video again, we're bringing it up. This is the first video we shared in tonight's episode. What do you guys make of this? You, you hear it from the people, the eyewitnesses. They they don't have any idea what's going on. Brett, you, can you give us anything as we watch this a little bit more? Yeah, one more time as we go over it, I, I could have said, could this be a drone? Right there, you see it do this little bank right at the end. And drones don't uh, usually, unless there's some sort of uh, chemical uh, some propulsion or uh, some sort of pyrotech behind it creating a smoke trail this thing looks organic and it just came out of nowhere these people have no idea what this is uh, really good footage i like this the close-up really gives a lot uh, the news should be sharing everything that we drop on third phase moon because i think we're the forefront of the uh, the spearhead of uh, bringing in the best UFOs. Why isn't Fox or CNN sharing this stuff? You should petition that everybody in the in the chat room, everybody that watches it, drop this link to everybody. Share it on your social media. We need to get the word out, especially with this new footage that we just dropped today. We're going to be uh, going over that. The people are just joining us, so they want to see what's happening. The footage that's been coming in tonight, Brett, you scoured uh, some of the inner, the emails that have been coming in via our Facebook, our official Instagram, our uh, Twitter account. Uh, people are submitting us the footage from around the world, and uh, we're bringing over seven videos, the phenomenon. This one is interesting to me. We're looking at it once again. Are we looking at maybe somebody who was in the right place during a lightning strike, and it just was the biggest shadow of a lightning that you could imagine about a man just walking across the street and it projected it just right? I, I haven't, does that make sense? You know, I was wondering if that could be possible seeing the video. I mean, maybe the light from the lightning flashed off something metallic and the light from the, the metal flashed back and hit, you know, a shadow and created a giant shadow i don't know maybe that is possible but i mean it definitely very clearly looks like someone walking with a cane so this footage is definitely pretty crazy stuff or the grim reaper who the hell knows what were you saying blake i was just, I was just saying look at how it uh, matches perfectly with the tree in front in the in the front ground and then it might be a projection of a lightning blast and then it projects off the tree right there all right let's roll the video once again it looks to me that there's some kind of craft up in the sky you're seeing it just hover up there above uh, the cloud layer a uh, red lights we see some optical lights to the right Ex not exactly sure what we're looking at. Some people are claiming that this was a massive uh, triangular craft just hovering over the city and it just it just hung there for hours at a time. I'm not exactly sure. We need to get more details. This is coming in and apparently Nashville, Tennessee is where this happened and it was earlier uh, in January 1st, 2023. So this is over a year old, this footage, but I don't recall ever seeing it. That's why we're sharing it with you right now.
Yeah, this just came into our feed earlier today and people are saying, do you see this object up in the sky? Well, I'm still looking at this and we're gonna get a closer look again. But people might say that it is. And if it was, this object would be massive. If that was hovering up in the sky, we're looking at something that's probably the size of a, maybe a half a football field. And this thing kind of remains steady. See those lights right in the middle, those red ones. And does it look like a craft to you? That's a big question. Could this be maybe some sort of projection from something on the ground shooting up, hitting the cloud layer, creating this aspect of an illusion like something's up in the sky? Well, that's all up for debate. We're, we're just looking at something right here. In my opinion, it could be something up there. What the hell's going on? Yeah, that's why we're sharing this video with you right here at Third Phase Moon. Again, it's over a year, but I don't care how old the video is. Uh, if the evidence is clear and it seems that there's something unusual going on, we're going to share it right here at Third Phase Moon and we're looking at this. And again, could it be just a, a series of drones in formation, uh, rock steady uh, side by side, uh, creating an illusion that there's a large craft up there? But again, we're looking at this, and in my opinion, I'm not seeing any indicators of this. I think what we're looking at is something uh, quite large, maybe 60 to maybe uh, maybe over 100 feet in length here. And whatever it is, I'm not seeing any FAA lights at all. Yeah, good point right there. Uh, could it be a combination of drones? Again, they're obligated to have uh, blinking lights. We're not seeing any of that. I'm going to roll this as, as legitimate for the sake of not being CGI. A lot of people say, why do you always put C put up CGI in your videos? We'll call it like it is. And I'm calling this as a legitimate footage for what it is. Not saying it's a UFO from uh, another planet, but we're looking at something here that's legit. Let's move on. We got big, big UFOs coming up. Let's, this is just getting started. Broad daylight footage coming in from Nevada of what looks to be some kind of metallic flying disc UFO. Take a look at this. All right, now let's get a closer look at whatever is hovering in broad daylight. A massive craft just over there. Somebody's driving down the road, notices something, pulls out their camera, and then voila, we're looking at something very legitimate. No CGI again. We're looking at footage that's authentic. And I think I could confirm what what's going on here is something quite extraordinary, unless this is some kind of experimental um, aircraft right now. Some new craft within the area that nobody's ever seen before because what i'm looking at right now it's massive there's no faa lights no propellers we're looking at something that doesn't resemble the typical blimp i'm not even seeing a canopy here so what's controlling this yeah good points there blake this thing's off in some distance and this guy's getting a really good shot uh driving and filming a ufo at the same time you can see it uh very clearly it, that it's it's big it's something huge up there in the sky could it be like you said like some sort of new experimental uh craft maybe a, a new technology of, of blimp we just don't know uh, right now we're looking at something that almost looks metallic in its nature and it's just kind of cruising there it captured this person's eye like you said Blake. i don't see a, a, a gondola i see this thing as it's too big to be like your good near blimp that you would see in like in LA typically right now we're seeing something massive floating above the mountains and it really captures a good essence of what people see these large craft up in the sky what is this you know if we could lock down the exact location the exact same time maybe we could find out maybe it's next to a military base do we have any background exactly where this uh, was shot what highway this uh, person was shooting 
Yeah, Nevada, sometimes uh, details come a little sketchy. People just uh, share. They want to get the word out. And that's what third phase is all about, getting it out as fast as we can so people really put their boots on the ground just like we are, trying to find out what's really going on here. Nevada is pretty much X marks the spot. We just don't know exactly where. You know, Nevada, it's a big state. Uh, we're there. Rachel, we checked out Area 51, the front and back gates. It's on our third phase moon YouTube channel. Go back and take a look at it. But again, they're experimenting with things out there. And is this something mundane? I don't think so. I think what we're looking at is definitely something experimental. And it's thank God that the public's out there shooting this with their video cameras and their cell phones and just having their eyes on the skies. It's very important. Now, let's get to something that's quite incredible. We cover the weather phenomenon every once in a while. And this one uh, came to me earlier today on my Gmail. And don't forget our Facebook, Twitter, and official Instagram, Third Phase of Moon. You could all submit your evidence there. But what came in earlier today from Queensland, Australia, was quite shocking. And these radar images uh, was something that I've never seen before. Guys, take a look at this. So we're looking at radar imagery, just uh, I think within the within the past 24 hours for the first time right here at Third Phase of Moon, the world's gonna be talking about this anomaly that just showed up over Queensland, a radar uh, showcasing some kind of massive uh, blank space in a circular centrifugal pattern that is unexplainable. Is there a radar defect what we're looking at or is there something over Queensland, Australia, that's just blocking it out. Some kind of stealth, massive disc shape that runs over a hundred miles, at least. I, I, I gotta do some more research, but guys, if you've seen this anomaly going on over Queensland right now, uh, please follow up with us right here at Third Phase Moon because we're looking at this right now and th it's kind of liquid breaking news and we don't have an explanation. Is there something massive? over Australia at the moment. Your thoughts, Brent? Yeah, very curious. This is really good uh, stuff coming in. We like the evidence. People are sharing it and we're seeing an anomaly. We're seeing this, like you say, this large spherical opening over Queensland. This is amazing. Uh, is this maybe a, an artifact within the radar and it may be a glitched out somehow and it's creating this, again, an artifact within a bad, bad, readings of what's happening there but if it's not could this be some sort of natural phenomenon that's a possibility but look at this circular radar imagery it's amazing yep the vacuum of the clouds within this circular pattern in this massive wide range of space over land again it could just be an anomaly some kind of radar defect but could you imagine if it were true, and it could be, we're not saying it isn't, that there's something right now going on over Australia. So we urge everybody in that region, uh, keep your eyes on the skies over there. Something may be going on. And again, this is just coming into third phase of the moon. It's kind of breaking news at the moment. So uh, keep your heads up over there and let us know. My email is in the description. Now, again, a lot more stuff right here uh, coming in tonight. So let's get to this one, Kazakhstan. Something quite unusual happened a portal a rip in space i'm not sure guys take a look at this All right, we're looking at something that is totally unexplained at the moment. Uh, definitely possible weather phenomenon or some kind of a uh, rip in the fabric of time in the perfect place at the right time. Kazakhstan's lighting up. Brent, your thoughts on this incredible video. Yep, again, we're looking at UFO videos, uh, the phenomenon. What we're seeing here tonight is 100% legit. Uh, no CGI going on. What we're seeing is something happening on our planet that people capture. We're looking at this, and we see this, again, this half 
kind of moon spherical object floating in the sky kind of wisping uh, above the mountains over there As people might say it's a portal maybe some sort of rocket launch that just happened that left this aftermath uh, we don't know again we're looking at things that people have a hard time understanding we we don't know what's happening we're looking at this and it captures the attention of the world right now again things are happening really fast in real time here at third phase of moon could this be just a weather phenomenon could it be an experiment could it be a open porthole to something that we just don't understand uh, this is the stuff we're looking for absolutely stunning footage coming in from this region we don't get footage from uh this area of the world kazakhstan i think it's kind of the first time we're, we're sharing this stuff from this area but uh, worldwide it comes in from all areas of the planet but it's interesting for the first time i think at third phase of the moon we're sharing this uh, footage from kazakhstan so uh kudos to the people out there keep your eyes on the skies something something obscure is really going on here and we don't have an explanation we'd sure like to get your thoughts guys uh, in the comments it really helps we appreciate everybody's opinions now let's get to this and we're showing a close-up of it right now uh brent your thoughts first yeah this one's kind of making the rounds it caught our eye earlier somebody's uh filming this at 30,000 feet from a commercial airliner, we see this bright, luminescent object kind of dart around. It's, it starts at the top of the clouds and makes this kind of left bank uh, going down towards Earth at a pretty rapid rate. It, it seems to almost break up at points with uh, lights too at the same time. Pretty amazing capture of what's coming in. If this is, leg if this is legit, we're looking at something uh, special at the moment. I think whatever this is, is definitely uh, metallic in nature because it seems to have this bright light glinting off it. Obviously, probably the sunlight if you're in an airliner up above the clouds like that. Definitely something metal that would be above the clouds would shine really bright like that. So I'm wondering if it's a Tic Tac. Dr. J, your thoughts? This is actually really fantastic footage. First of all, the fact that it's glowing this actually goes along with Bob Lazar's, what he said when he was first interviewed in 1989. When you have a basically a, a high energy source in an atmosphere like ours filled with gas, essentially oxygen and hydrogen, what do you get? You get this sort of glowing object, even in the daylight. Secondly, we have a bunch of people now that have planes or on planes and are literally using their phones in their pocket to film objects out of the sky or outside the window. The reason why this is one of the best ones is because you have the clouds in there for frame of reference. So you have one thing that a scientist who allegedly worked on these craft before talks about is what you're seeing. And secondly, this is, doesn't look like anything that behaves that we have on Earth. Could this be CGI, Dr. J? I'm looking at this closely and I'm kind of rolling it out. Your opinion. You know, it's really amazing footage. Unfortunately, CGI, deep fakes, AI has gone so good these days. We don't even know if a human speaking on TV is real anymore. So unfortunately, we can't rule it out 100%, but I tend to think that this is probably legitimate footage. Yeah, I tend uh, to agree that what we're sharing with you is authentic. That's why we're bringing it to third phase moon. We don't want to put up CGI videos, but uh, you never know in this time and age. But I think we still got a good eye of what's uh, to discern what's real and what's not. I think what we're looking at is something that the FAA pilots, these pilots that are aboard these commercial airliners. Could you imagine if they just had a little bit more freedom without the ridicule and the laugh factor when it comes to this. And we're getting this a lot from pass from the passengers aboard these commercial airliners rather than the pilots themselves. And uh, we urge any pilot out there, I know you're out there, you watch Third Phase of Moon, uh, people around uh, the world are watching us and pilots out there, share your stuff, uh, don't be afraid. You want to be anonymous that's fine but we're looking for evidence coming in not only from the passengers but from the pilots and maybe some of the staff members as well again a lot of videos coming in tonight so let's uh, roll the next one uh, guys this one is quite remarkable watch
amateur astronomer captures some moment of time in our solar system, a celestial object uh, captured within the optic uh, camera itself of something traversing across space uh, behind Saturn. It's kind of incredible. I'm just wondering, where is NASA? Come on, NASA, give us some answers here. I'm sure you're tracking this at this moment. Uh, what the heck is it? What's going on? This is some pretty incredible footage we're looking at. Just came in, it's making the rounds. We see this kind of purplish, uh, hueish object. It must be massive as it makes its way past and behind Saturn. It actually goes behind the eclipse of the shadow right at the last moment there. And you also see the moons of uh, Saturn as well. There's 83 documented moons at the moment. So we're looking at no moon. We're looking at something up there i do believe this is legit you see the atmospheric distortion being shot through the telescope at the moment everything seems to uh, ring true with the frame rate the way we see this kind of blue object and it's uh, refracting off of off of it you see it refracting off of everything so i think what we're seeing is within the camera itself and if that's the case we're looking at something amazing again th if this object is that close to the the planet saturn this thing's got to be the size of of a moon yeah you know i'm wondering why when i see this is it possible that there's a trail behind it and it's just not visible from here like maybe it's a comet or a meteor um i know saturn just kind of attracts a lot around it that's why it has its rings so i think that's definitely interesting dr j what are your thoughts this is amazing footage and back what brent was saying the size of this object it literally has to be the size of our moon if not bigger just to appear that big close to saturn which is a fairly large planet and the irony of this footage coming in the third phase of the moon today is this is days after i just told you about a book coming from the early 80s by an author named norman Bergrun which is titled Ringmakers of Saturn. In there, he also details how some of the rings are actually created by these starships or spaceships and lays out an entire book of this evidence. Now, whether or not that's true that the rings were created by Saturn, this footage is definitely amazing. And let me add one more thing, the fact that it's blue. So many times you have NASA showing a live screen a live stream where they actually show some sort of craft in the sky or objects that appear blue in origin or blue glowing. The reason why it's different color than what would be in our atmosphere is because there is no atmosphere in outer space. So when you take all these things in evidence, I think this is one of the best real pieces of footage from an astronomer. And people out there should be definitely looking not just at Saturn, but every planet closer. Absolutely, John. It's very fascinating. What we're looking at is Actually, we just sped up some of the footage to give it a, a kind of a more of a motion of movement so you could see the trajectory of this object. But this is all captured within five minutes. And you see this blue object clearly pass by the planet Saturn and behind it. Uh, giving that little fast forward motion gives a little bit more of a, a kind of that pathway this craft is taking, if indeed it is a craft. Again, Blake, your thoughts. It's interesting, again, looking at the footage and we have the Galileo project with functioning equipment right now. So far, we're hearing um, kind of on the inside story that they haven't captured anything at this moment. Avi told us that it would have been two years that he would have captured a UFO. I think that date has passed. Maybe if we could just lock down the exact time this was captured and get some more data on uh, this video and then submit it to our, our friends over there at Galileo and help them out because the public is where we're gonna get the evidence at. That's where we're gonna get uh, disclosure. But uh, once again, we're looking at something that is massive, almost uh, actually a size of the moon. You can see as we speed up the, the video, the moons are pretty stationary in their orbit around uh, Saturn, but we're not seeing this thing in any kind of formation with the other moons. This, is, this thing's uh, cooking here. Again, uh, Dr. J, the implications, uh, NASA should be giving us some heads up here. They absolutely should because the size of Saturn and for the ability for this object to pass in the path that it does and get behind it. I mean, again, the size of it and the speed of it are just so mind blowing. You don't have any natural objects that actually operate like that in our solar system. This should have not only been brought up by astronomers and NASA, 
everybody in the world should be talking about this. I mean, this should be a global event right now. Yeah, people are looking at this and they're thinking that this thing's not moving too fast. But if you know the size of Saturn, it's this or it's just the second to the biggest planet in our solar system compared to Jupiter. So this thing's massive. You could you could fit so many uh, Earths in there. I, I don't know, like a hundred thousand. I'm not sure. I'm just throwing it out there. But it's it's huge. So if this thing's passing behind saturn right there this thing's cooking it's going it's just moving so fast to to go in that distance john again the implications we have space force we have nasa and where are the other instruments that are capturing this if this is legitimate and what we're looking at is is authentic which uh, we're looking more into this and we're seeing that it seems that everything's matching up that what we're looking at is the real deal there's no manipulation so i'd imagine there's more evidence out there how, how do how do we disseminate this besides youtube and third phase of moon it's going to take the people out there to really get the word out but we, maybe we should take this to a, a higher level and maybe uh, stir things up or should we just keep it to ourselves and avoid the major media i don't know your thoughts dr j on that I say we bring this to attention to Avi Loeb because this is exactly the stuff he's been looking for in our solar system, especially when he first identified Oumuamua and said that it's possibly a derelict spaceship and not just some sort of meteor or interstellar natural object. It, it, we, we shouldn't just wait for the people. Of course, we always want the people to come forward. But I think in this instance, since there are other space telescopes and private space telescopes in our orbit right now definitely caught this on multiple you know shots up close different colors uh you know infrared all that is, is available so we need somebody at the higher ups to actually give this to us yeah john if, if, i don't think the media the major media really wants to touch anything except from the insiders they only sh showcase people that are basically actors in my opinion uh, on their on their channels and they they kind of share things that are pretty mundane we're dropping stuff for years that the media would love to cover but they're just a little shy i think covering third phase of moon because they only work with the the insiders in that business yeah the whole aspect of major media has been taken over by conglomerates and uh, major business they don't want to deal with the small guy and where the real truth is they got a narrative and they're going to stick to it they're being kind of told what to say obviously you hear all the networks uh rinse and repeat the same narrative every single day 24 7. We're, we're bringing in kind of the new footage as it comes in from the public i think that's what's uh, the most important thing what we're doing here quickly before we get to the next video uh any last words on this one here dr j no, I just think this is one of the greatest ones because of the size and the, you know, how fast it's actually going. And what you said about the talking heads in the mainstream media, not only are they repeating the same stuff, like you said, rinsing the same story, they're using the same people. It's like they all got the memo on Monday morning. This is what you're going to talk about. This is the footage you're going to show. Every single channel is the same thing. That's why it's places, it's their face of the moon. Is, I have always been saying this the largest and the original UFO YouTube channel that the world goes to to bring footage and to showcase it. We know those people are watching it. Unfortunately, the media is not talking about it. Appreciate it, Dr. J. More footage uh, just into third phase of moon. Uh, we're looking at it right now, Nevada. Something hovering in the sky, something mundane, uh, something out of this world. Uh, we're not sure, just take a close look. We're gonna get some close-ups on this too. Check it out. The Nevada mountains showcases all kinds of evidence coming in from that region. It's notorious for UFO sightings. Are we looking at something that's experimental, some kind of private corporation playing, a, playing around with a new technology? Or could this be some kind of blimp? I'm not seeing any canopy, no FAA lights, and I'm pretty sure there's no advertisement 
for any reason to be out there for advertisement balloon. This is, seems to be in the middle of nowhere. So why is it out there? Well, what's it doing? It seems that the person that shot this figures that something's going on. He better film it. Dr. J, your thoughts? You know, because it's over Nevada, the first thing that I think about is Groom Lake, Area 51. I mean, we know they've been testing there for well over 75 years. Uh, Lockheed Martin, Skunk Works, all those private defense contractors. This very well could be the next generation of drone. At the same time, though, it does look spherical. It does look like UFOs that people have talked about in the past. It's got this metallic sheen to it. And also, I like the footage because you have a frame of reference with the mountains in the background. Now, can I say conclusively whether it's ours versus something exotic? No, but it's something mechanical, probably technology that I think in this case belongs to us. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a kind of a flo floating propane tank in a, a silver sheen, and it's moving from a right to left as it drifts in the wind, or it's on its own propulsion. I, I can't tell you that, but we got a good close-up of this thing, and again, no gondola. I don't see this as being some sort of commercial blimp and advertisement Goodyear by any means. Maybe a possibility of uh, some sort of weather uh, blimp balloon that got uh, untethered and kind of floating away, but... We just don't know. It's pretty good capture right here because we got to look at this close up. It's right there in your face. It's unidentified. Again, we need to be on the ground to identify these things. And maybe somebody needs to just keep driving up to it and don't stop the camera until you get a definite yes or no on what this is. So right now still on the fence, but this is legit in my opinion. No CGI, 100% in, in house on the camera. No, I, I agree with Dr. J with the fact that, you know, a lot goes on in Nevada. There's a lot of different testing ranges and uh, Area 51 obviously is out there. So a lot is definitely happening in the skies there. That's for sure. Um, I feel like when I see this, at first it makes me think of a balloon because of how slowly it's moving. But it does seem to have this cylindrical appearance to it. And as I look at it closer, it almost seems like maybe I'm seeing that because it almost looks like there's a shadow that's hitting the mountain behind it. Yeah, interesting. The optics, the shadows, everything uh, comes into play when people shoot the video. And what I say is shoot first with your camera, ask questions later. You just want the footage. And that's what we're looking for. More stuff coming into third phase of moon. Uh, Dr. J just got this video just moments ago i'm excited to get his thoughts and i want to get your thoughts uh people from around the world joining us in this live premiere hit that thumbs up let's roll the next video right now take a look so we're looking at something obviously it has people on the ground bewildered uh, take out your cameras once again and start filming is this some kind of mocked up uh, helium blimp balloon trying to freak people out on the ground brent yeah we've seen this before i don't think we've ever shared it on third phase of moon so this is a classic example of what we need to all look at in my opinion i do think this is conventional with uh, nice uh, bells and whistles to try to make this thing look like a flying saucer dr j yeah, you know, you have to beg the question, is it too good to be true? Obviously, we're not looking at something daylight and the most reported type of UFO for, geez, 100 plus years, if not several hundred years, has been the classic flying saucer. So this time, this one looks a little too good to be true for me. Um, I mean, it could be the smoking gun, but uh, my gut is leaning toward possibly not. Let's just roll it. So it's this. Sana. Yeah, yeah. Viene por usted, Susana. Hey, 
All right, here we go. Lots of UFO videos in tonight's episode. So buckle up, uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for the latest phenomenon videos from around the world. We're looking at something captured and we're seeing this. The broad daylight footage is what we're all looking for. Or we're seeing it right now, something hovering in the sky and it's caught these people's attention and thank God they filmed it. Brent, your thoughts on this? Yeah, tonight's episode is going to be massive. We got all sorts of information coming in. Crystal clear footage of UFOs that's going to blow your mind. Even some leaked footage out of Iraq, which is very interesting. Lots of stuff on the table tonight. We're looking at some sort of object off in the distance, quite some miles, maybe about a mile and a half to two miles, just dropping behind the tree line there. It, this really represents scale. This thing's massive. Whatever's hovering up in the sky, we're seeing a good close up right here. It's very interesting. It, it has this classic dish shape. A lot of uh, things, the anomalies really present that this thing's really there. This is no CGI. What we're seeing is in real time and somebody captured something amazing. Apollo. Yeah, it definitely seems like this is a sort of seemingly anti-gravity craft here. I like how the camera is kind of moving around, but it the flying object is staying in one place here and moving around a little bit but um so yeah this is really interesting i think uh it's definitely legit dr j your thoughts uh, well we always have to be careful on you know because things can be fake but just like you all said i tend to believe this one's actually real and the people are excited you could tell obviously i don't understand what they're saying unless we translate that but they're definitely excited about what they're seeing and it is a classical you know saucer shaped object and one of the great things about it is that the fact that it goes behind the trees and the mountains too which gives it like you said the scale but also a point of reference with trigonometry you could actually you know figure out the size of this craft yeah, good point there. And uh, again, from the perspective that I'm looking at it and the distance, this thing would have to be at least, I don't know, 150 to 200 feet in length. Some people might dismiss this as some kind of kite. I, I don't think so. What we're looking at is something unexplained. It's a real phenomenon and there's no uh, manipulation going on. Uh, we're looking at something authentic. More footage coming into third phase of moon. Something traversing over the lunar surface. Guys, take a look at this. The video lasts for some time, but if you look closely right there out of the caldera, some shimmering object traversing a little bit uh, right to left or left to right there, excuse me, uh, something is captured by an amateur astronomer that can't be explained. Uh, we're speeding up the footage so we can see uh, this object uh, traverse across the lunar sky. Is there some kind of secret space force or some kind of base on the moon that uh, this thing is? Uh, taken off out of i don't know i've never seen anything quite like this this is uh, shocking evidence here damn blake this is maybe smoking gun footage of some anomaly traversing uh, over and out of the crater of the moon right there if this is indeed real we're looking at something that needs to get on cnn it needs to uh, splash all over the world because this is amazing it really proves that possibly there's something happening on the moon that there's some sort of extraterrestrial craft or maybe a, a government program of having moon bases and we're seeing some operation there have you seen this dr j your opinion you know i'm so glad you just mentioned that brent about the moon bases we've been having talks about moon bases since the 50s before we actually even made it to space and long before we had the first man on the moon now again assuming this is real it could either be that we're, we have our own bases and this is our technology possibly reverse engineered from, you know, crash and retrievals. Or what if it is possible ETs on the base or even if it's not an ET base, what if it's just ETs going check out in the moon, going into the crater and coming out? Either way, this is one of the more compelling videos. Uh, I wish it was covered by CNN. Unfortunately, as we all know, they only take things lately on mili uh, from military. But this is one of the better things that I think a lot of astronomers who watch the moon should talk about this. You know, one thing I think to keep in mind here is how many 
missions have been sent to the moon uh you know even myself i didn't realize how many people had actually been sent to the moon until i looked at uh i looked it up recently and apparently it's like over 22 people are recorded to have been actually on the surface of the moon so i think you know in all these space programs they're sending up ships all the time with these kind of disclosed projects so who knows what's happening you know like there could be a lot of projects going on up there that you know the public isn't aware of and also things going on on the dark side of the moon let me add one thing to what apollo just said uh one interesting thing that edgar mitchell said either in an interview that we were able to capture or something that he said before he passed away that i did have a chance to record because he didn't sound too well he said that there was a lot of military astronauts and none of those figures are disclosed disclosed publicly i would not be surprised if we have plenty of missions to the moon and don't forget the soviets kept having people that went up as cosmonauts and passed away and a lot of them were kept secret what if the soviets did make it to the moon before us but didn't survive there so i wouldn't be surprised if there's been countless missions to the moon that we don't know of yeah again looking at this footage if this is legit which i believe it is or this is an amateur astronomer that captures something in in his lens and his telescopes actually doing a really good job you can see the atmospheric distortion of our earth as it shoots through it the the waves everything that that's look that we're looking at here i believe is legit that it's this is actually there really close to the surface of the moon maybe it could be a little farther or not uh that's up for debate but we're looking at something real special here yeah the way the optic works in my opinion whatever we're looking at is just basically as in focus as the crater behind it so in my opinion it's really close to the surface of the moon uh, being that the optics uh, work that way. If this object were closer to the lens, it, you wouldn't be able to see it. It'd be blurred out. So we're looking at something that's unexplained. And I wish NASA would just get involved. Look at some of the third phase of moon footage that's been submitted from the people around the world. The amateur astronomers are on the cusp of disclosure, but yet NASA gives us no answers whatsoever. They have an investigation that's happening right now, but what have they given us? Absolutely nothing. Uh, NASA never a straight answer. I hate to say that, but it seems that they just don't jump on these videos that are so compelling with any kind of explanation. And again, some people might say this is a drip on the lens or uh, dismiss this as um, an artifact. In my opinion, I, I don't think that's what we're looking at. We're looking at something that is actually unexplained and we need answers. This thing is close to the crater right there on the lunar surface. And if this is legit, which I think it is, this thing's massive, at least a football field, maybe even uh, over maybe two football fields or three in length here. I would believe much larger. This crater uh, on the side of the moon, we're zooming in on it. It, it could be uh, maybe the size of a, a little city. We just don't know. But again, we're looking at this anomaly. You really can't push out a lot of detail because the quality of the lens and his equipment could only move it so far. But right now we're looking at something Again, near the surface of the moon, I think third phase of moon actually just dropped about 10 compelling moon videos this past month. It's just amazing. It seems like there's more activity there than usual. You know, lots of incredible activity coming out of the moon. You know, we get videos all the time like this here and it's really interesting. I mean, I think that there's definitely a phenomenon. Like, I think maybe there's programs going on there, but there definitely seems to be something with things coming out of craters. Seen a lot with that. And just look at how this shoots out right here. Like, what is that? There's, there's definitely something going on there. And that's not a meteor going to the moon. It's coming out. So there's something flying out of there. It kind of looks like there's almost like a base or something when you zoom in there. I mean, what is that? I mean, is that, that's not a crater. That doesn't look like a crater to me. Uh, Dr. J, again, we've spoke with um, astronauts right here at Third Phase Moon. Edgar Mitchell, um, I think sixth man on the moon, third mission to the moon. Uh, it was the last interview we had with him. He was a big advocate for uh, existence of aliens amongst us. What do you think's going on there? Is what's going on in the moon ours or is it extraterrestrial in nature? You know, uh, this comes from 
when an interview that I did with Linda Moulton Howe, and before Neil Armstrong died, she had an interview set up with him, and unfortunately, he backed out last minute. But she got to speak to several people close to him, and he did admit that when they first got to the moon and were even flying towards the moon or approaching the moon, that they were being tracked by, you know, what they called non-terrestrial craft. When they actually were landing on the moon, they said out in the distance, they saw that they were being observed on the moon. So is it time travelers that came back to see the first time we went to the moon? Or was it that we were going somewhere that ETs inhabit and were watching what we're doing there? Edgar Mitchell, although he refused to talk about ETs on the moon, did infer that he saw something outside of the spaceship or the Apollo a capsule on his way back from the moon. And one of the big reasons that he's such a big proponent uh, for what what's going on with uh, extraterrestrials is because he grew up in Roswell. He happened to be in high school at the time the Roswell crash happened. He heard about it and then, of course, heard about the weather balloon cover-up. After he came back from the moon and he was a national hero, an actually international hero at that, and went back to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, everybody who was part of the cover-up said, hey, uh, we want to tell you something and essentially spilled all the secrets to Edgar Mitchell. So god bless his soul um, may he rest in peace but i wish he was still here because he was such an amazing figure for ufology to be able to confirm things like roswell and the moon yeah well said there dr j again we're looking at this really compelling footage that we've shared on third phase of moon but i, I think we need to reintroduce it again with a, what we just dropped earlier now looking at this activity that we're seeing some sort of like object a disliked object a tic tac like object escaping from the moon surface right at that center of the crater again we don't see it pass like it's coming in from right to left we see it emerge right dead center there which really uh fascinates me and it should fa fascinate anybody again uh third phase moon's dropping the big stuff we got a lot more stuff coming up again some leaked footage out of iraq i, I think is really compelling and some of the goddamn clearest footage of a ufo that you'll ever see we're just getting started guys yeah super stoked on this uh footage brent showed this to me just moments ago i'm kind of blown away and i'm so happy to share it with you right here on third phase moon let's check it out So apparent footage leaked from Iraq. The military captured something, and we're looking at it in infrared right now. And uh, Brent has a little bit of information with regards to uh, this data that's been uh, kind of dropped and making the rounds right now. And we wanted to share it before um, the major media shares it, as we usually do right here at Third Phase Moon. That's why you guys are here joining us tonight. So make sure you tell your friends about the latest ufo videos check out third phase moon we're looking at this once again um it's kind of reminds me of corbell videos i'm not seeing much but what makes you think that this is something that is worthy to be shared shared right here at third phase moon well it's coming from a war zone so that's interesting 2018 is a date so we're, we're looking at this uh, again people say it looks like a, a, a typical flying saucer and I could agree with that we see it doing these erratic moves which makes you wonder is that real propulsion going on is a vehicle actually doing this or maybe it's an infrared camera trying to to target this object and uh, it's kind of a bouncing around creating this kind of aspect where you're thinking the object's moving but in fact it's just a camera move movement again there's a lot of footage that's been coming out leaked footage is this all legit uh, it's all up for debate to debate right now but we're looking at something that i wish we had in color all the the full footage instead of this uh, infrared because it kind of masks what's actually up there in the air these maneuvers are really incredible i love seeing this and uh, you know what comes to mind for me with this is um, the phenomena of UFOs being seen over war zones and, you know, depowering nuclear bases, that sort of thing. I wonder if maybe there's some sort of connection with this, but obviously also 
um, these military people have incredible technology that they're able to use to capture things like this. So that's really great too. Dr. J, what are your thoughts? Yeah, th this is uh, amazing footage because again, this is more footage released by the military. At least somebody recorded it off the screen. But again, this seems to be what all the mainstream media only wants to cover. Going back to the Tic Tac Gimbal and Go Fast video, most recently the Jellyfish, and not to mention a few others. Again, every single one being military. And I expect more and more of these are going to start to come out going back decades. I mean, even this is 16 years old as of now. And one of the greatest things about it is look how fast it goes from a stopping position to just zooming out of here. We're talking at speeds, uh, forget the speeds, G-forces from over a thousand to possibly several thousand G-forces, which would not only kill anything on board and i say anything because even if it's not human wearing an insane suit would be smashed to pieces and become jello or worse than that but even the structure of any craft anything we can create on this planet would never survive the pressures of such g-forces so this is awesome for many reasons uh first of all the shape we have typical saucer shape it reminds me again of something that came straight out of s uh, s4 the sport model uh it's also caught in infrared and night vision you have the person commentating about it and I think the radar or whatever it is, is, is not trying to lock on. It's just stationary, which gives you a great example of how the object is jumping from different areas, left to right, right to left, and, you know, diagonally up and all that. Fantastic footage, and I expect more. Absolutely. And uh, the data comes into third phase of moon on a real time basis. We even got more footage for you right now uh, coming into third phase of moon. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Guys, check this out. Again, uh, we're looking at this. Mexico always lights up with the phenomenon. These flying saucers, these obscure uh, looking vehicles just being captured by the people on the ground. And again, we're, we're going to get a close up. Look, uh, people are complaining about clear footage or blurry footage of UFOs. We're looking at something that you can't deny. There's something up there in the sky. It's definitely not CGI. This is... Uh, very authentic footage and people are amazed again why in this region is it because of the air force or the equivalent of the air force in mexico can't engage these kind of uh, vehicles like they can in america uh it's a big question right there blake again it's happening in real time uh, this place just lights up colombia south america this is a place for ufos why are they so prevalent over there what i like about what we're going to be showing you is these uh, crystal clear close-ups and slow mos of what we're looking at here and uh, it kind of when you look at it you don't see this thing moving it's not bobbing like your balloon and it's got these really sharp spiked edges and this kind of silver column cone shape right at the bottom of this really uh makes you wonder what this thing is a really good close-up when you look at this as we move forward again you don't see this thing bobbing which seems like it has some sort of propulsion that we're not familiar with you know whenever i see these kind of spiky ball looking craft there's like a thing that comes to mind for me with uh ferrofluid ferrofluid is like this sort of magnetic fluid mixture that kind of can change shapes with the magnetic uh stuff that's in the liquid 
And this kind of reminds me of that. And also nanotechnology can kind of work in that same way where it can sort of move and manipulate itself like that. So it really reminds me of that ferrofluid and, you know, the possible connection to nanotechnology, definitely. Dr. J, what do you think about this? This is amazingly clear footage. Uh, you know, people always blame the tech or say that the footage is not clear enough. It's too blurry. Why can't we get something up close? But then when something super clear comes out, people complain that it's fake or CGI. It's almost as if people are never satisfied. Uh, again, if this is real, this is probably one of the best pieces of footage I've seen. It's also a very unique shape, which doesn't surprise me at all. You, everyone has seen the jellyfish footage by now, the jellyfish UFO. This is the first time I've ever seen this one, which I label this the, the type of shape as being like a top with spikes on the side. And also, the, the technology behind it, this is really interesting. Clifford Stone, as we all had a chance to speak to before he passed away, said there was two types of propulsion that the ETs told him about. One being what Bob Lazar talked about antimatter, essentially anti-gravity. The second being something that the ETs did not want to tell Clifford Stone because apparently we haven't even discovered dark matter yet. And it was supposed to be a dark matter reactor or dark matter, whatever you want to call it. The point is, we can't tell what this technology is, but it's certainly something that we don't have. Something silent, the ability to hover with no helicopter blades or anything like that. Uh, another point that you guys made a second ago is the fact that why is there so much amazing footage in Mexico? It is possible that we they don't have the technology or the military means to shoot them down the same way we do, or at least did in the past. But also, Mexico or in all of Latin America seems to really believe this stuff, never questioning it, and have always been very open about it. The moment something's caught on camera, it's given to mainstream journalists out there and they put it on the primetime news, something I wish we had done. And there almost seems to be zero ridicule factor in Mexico. Georgia, January 16th, 2024, something massive has just made a presence and people are in shock and I'm hoping we're gonna get a lot of videos coming in from people from different angles. Obviously there's people on the ground that capture this. I'm waiting to see more so we could get more answers, Brent. Yeah, this uh, video just came in. It was captured just uh, not so long ago. I would expect, like you just said, Blake, that we'd be seeing a ton of videos explaining what this phenomenon is in the sky. We do get a pretty good close up. Could this just mm. be maybe of some sort of attraction, a fleet of drones creating some sort of us? artwork in the sky it's hard telling but again we're looking at something that people might say looks organic or something maybe even a a portal opening up apollo when i see this it looks very bioluminescent to me uh it kind of almost reminds me of like a bioluminescent like deep sea creature um so it, it almost has this organic look to it but also it makes reminds me of these like drone shows that i've seen at burning man where like the drones come together and they form these different shapes but i mean it doesn't really look like it's making any shape in particular so it doesn't really make sense to me that it would be a drone show yeah absolutely a uh, big light display bunch of drones what i like about it again it has this kind of like string effect where these usually drones you could kind of see uh, them being self-operated individual drones these things seem to be all interconnected laced into each other if that's what i'm looking at it's kind of strange dr j you know it's funny you guys said drone show because that was the first words that actually popped into my head but it's not moving it's still uh, so at the same time, I don't know if it's a drone show. It actually doesn't look like a drone show. Like you earlier said, it's is it possibly a portal? Or how about this? What if it's something biological? What if it's actually some sort of light being or whatever you want to call it? Either way, this is the strangest UFO I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I'd like to see it move a little bit, but props to the person who captured it. 
you know, when it comes down to people getting the video, this is as good as it gets. It's crystal clear. He's got a good vantage point. He's not keeping his eyes off of it. It's 100% real. We're not looking at anything CGI or uh, manipulated. This is totally authentic. What I like about it is that, again, it's captured at night. We're seeing this brightness, this luminescent object, and it's massive. Where is the people? Where are the other videos that should have come out with this uh, big sighting? Yeah, I'm thinking by the next day. Go ahead, Dr. J. Well, yeah, uh, you know, Dr. J, it does seem very low. I guess um, we're looking at this at the same time and we're really um, wanting to find answers. Dr. J, do you think, I think in the next uh, day, we're going to find out and we're going to post an update here on Third Phase Moon, or could this remain a mystery quickly? Actually, I think you're absolutely right. I think people that are going to see this who have seen it with their own eyes are either going to come forward with their testimony or, as you earlier said, since it's so low in such a big city, in such a big area, I would not ex I would expect more cameras mm -hmm. to have taken photos and videos of this to actually come forward and bring the footage to you. Absolutely. Uh, we're standing by. My contact is in the description. Again, a lot of videos coming in tonight's episode. Hit that thumbs up. Let's roll the next piece of data coming in right here at Third Phase Moon. Take a look at this. Are we looking at the movie Close Encounters? Or are we looking at something that is otherworldly? Right now, we're uh, on the fence. Is this some kind of massive hoax? Or, or is there something going on that we can't explain? It almost seems like a movie set. Is there some kind of mothership landing in the forest, uh, captured by someone in the right place at the right time? Is this a possible abduction scenario? This is pretty good. I'm, I'm digging this. We're looking at this big luminescent object traversing behind the trees and it's massive. We don't know what it is. It seems to have some sort of uh, propulsion. It's going up and down. It's not remaining static. And at this point we see two craft, which is amazing. It, it doesn't look like it's CGI. It looks legit again. We really try not to share any of that crap. We, what we try to share is legit stuff and we're looking at something pretty amazing right here. Yeah, this bright blue luminescence to the light is kind of what's getting me here. I mean, if it was just a regular spotlight or something coming off like, you know, vehicle or something, you know, it would, it would, I don't think it would have this like bright blue light. So, um, but I don't know, you know, how low the ground is in comparison to the trees, like behind the trees. So that's kind of what I'm wondering here, but it definitely looks incredible. It looks like something really crazy is going on there. Dr. J, what are your thoughts? You know, it's ironic what Blake and Brent were saying. This could be straight out of a movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, even E.T., but it actually reminds me more of the Rendlesham Forest incident where you saw it wasn't as big as this craft is, but some sort of craft that was going in between the trees and then ultimately landed. Now, we know people in the past have actually captured craft or have seen abductions taking place whether it be in new york where uh, a dignitary was on a bridge and he saw a craft in the sky and six or seven little beings with a human floating out the window into the craft i wonder what's the intention of this i don't think this is cgi at all you know a uh, good call there dr j I think what we're looking at is legitimate. The question is, what are we looking at? Could it be a bunch of farm workers and tractors out there working at night, uh, farming the land, and they got their headlights on? And it appears to be motherships uh, landing on the field. Uh, this is just a possibility. I'm throwing it out there. But we need more information with regards to uh, this data coming in. Uh, Brent, where did you come up with this one? I know you... You, we get a lot of stuff every day. You're kind of the logistics guy getting the footage to me. Um, how did you come across this? 
Yeah, but like this one came in pretty fluid. One of our uh, contacts sent this and says, this needs to be shared on third phase. And I'm like, absolutely. And then we got this. And again, we're looking at something that Blake said, could it be some sort of uh, power trucks, equipment out there, tractors with their headlights? I'm not so keen on this. I'm, I'm thinking we're looking at something a little bit more uh, nefarious or a phenomenon. It's weird. I really like that Dr. J brought up the um, the Renosham Forest incident because I know there was like a lot of interesting phenomena that happened with that, especially the strange symbols that were found on the ship. Can you explain that, Dr. J? Do you remember what happened in that account? Yes, absolutely. So the symbols obviously resembled Egyptian hieroglyphs, but at the same time, they're very different. Jim Penniston who was one of the people there at the time, felt an urge or wanted to touch the symbols and noticed that the craft itself was ultra smooth, but the symbols themselves were a little more hard. When he touched the craft, he had like a download of information and all he saw was zeros and ones for the next three or four days. Ultimately, he wrote down all the zeros and ones and he said, it's like the memory went away almost as if what was implanted in his mind was to be written down and then it was gone decades later literally i think 25 some years later when john burroughs was visiting with him and they were looking through the little uh, notebook they had at the time uh, john burroughs says to penison what's that and penison says well these appeared in my mind when i touched it. all these zeros and ones john burroughs says that is binary so they took it to a computer coder and he actually you know typed in all the zeros and ones and it gave a message it said something along the lines of year 8100 exploration of humanity and then it listed a bunch of latitude and longitude points which correlate with many of our ancient sites From the hey john hey john uh we're just i gotta break in right now we're getting more information coming into third phase of moon the randall shim it definitely happened a long time ago we're looking at stuff in present day right now captured from a commercial airliner of what looks to be maybe a sun setting but in the middle of a, a great lake or the ocean what the heck is going on the sun should set behind the planet not within it I, this is something very strange here yeah you got these plasmic things that just surround this craft it's orange it's as bright as the sun it kind of has this like tractor beam coming down from the bottom of it it's really interesting to look at it's really out of a out of place when you're at thirty thousand feet like this person was when they're filming it from a commercial airliner and capture this shot they're really recognizing something uh special this is a phenomenon yeah i think what we're looking at here is a plasmoid that's a ball of plasma basically and um you know that's what it looks like to me seeing this i know that's a phenomenon that happens all over the world and especially coming out of volcanoes and various supercharged sites and what's really interesting is plasma is like in the very fabric of the universe i mean it kind of makes up everything so it's a really powerful force and uh yeah i think this might be something like that yeah this thing looks the size of like a super dome it's it's huge i'm not sure exactly but i'm guessing at least a quarter of a mile in length here it's it's quite large a phenomenon not sure dr j your thoughts you know at first glance i thought is this possibly a rocket launch but no if you look closely it actually looks like it's two separate pieces at one point it is lower than the thirty thousand feet or thirty-five thousand feet that the pilot's flying at it is going up and let's also say this we do know that light is able to transmit information far better than radio waves for instance so is this a message or as Apollo said, is this just a piece of plasma, which could be a being itself, or it could be a craft because we all know they exist in all sorts of those realms. You know, a good uh, hypothesis there, Dr. J. Appreciate uh, you joining us. We even got more videos coming in as we speak. So uh, stick around and I urge everybody sticking around in this live premiere, hit that thumbs up and let's get to the next video coming in. And when Brett shared this with me earlier today, I'm saying, okay, what are we gonna tell the people? And Brent told me 
as usual, we don't have any explanations. Let's just give it uh, to the world and ask questions afterwards. So here, take a look at this. So it might be a little hard to see, but I think this video is important. We're gonna do a little bit of enhancement on this video, but uh, people see a lot of strange lights in the sky, especially at night, but this is broad daylight. So the eyewitness to record these luminescent orbs off uh, in the distance and showcasing some kind of maybe dance or communication among these not exactly sure. I don't even know what to call them. They're definitely UFOs. They're separating. They're moving quite quickly. Uh, it's very unpractical what we're looking at. Nothing explainable. We're sharing with you the phenomenon. Brett, your thoughts? Uh, this one's a good one. Yeah, Blake, it's, it's definitely the quality is a little hard. The, the camera is really good, but just these objects are at such a distance, the camera is really having a hard time picking up on it. We're going to get some pretty good close-ups here to get you a little bit of better vantage point on what we're looking at here again we see these orbs kind of move from right to left and take a look at these objects they could they be birds highlighted by the sun that's a possibility but i'm thinking they're making uh, these maneuvers that are unconventional unlike bird flight patterns yeah you know when i first looked at this it almost looked like to me like balls of light that were flashing but then it's interesting because they kind of seem to form and like move together and I'm almost wondering if it's actually like a triangular shaped craft behind the clouds there that has a light on each end and it's kind of like moving around in different ways and like rotating that's why it's coming off that way um what are your thoughts Dr. J? You know, Brent hit the nail on the head when he mentioned that conventional craft don't change directions in such a, spe uh, a speed. And we also know that natural things such as birds can't do that. I don't think this is birds that are just being lit up. I understand the quality of the camera is not so good. She did the best she could. But at the same time, we always hear about people talking about orbs, whether they be tiny or six inches diameter to... 30 feet in diameter and i like what you said apollo the fact that could this be some sort of message when they come into three in a, in a triangle setting either way this is very uh, i want to say interesting to say is the is the best word i want to say because of the fact that you caught it during the daylight and it's glowing Absolutely. Uh, this is a video that needs to be shared and we're going to do a little bit more enhancements over the next few days and showcase that what we're looking at is something extraordinary in our opinion. Now, again, we receive information, the data coming in from around the world. It's very important. And earlier, to, uh, I think it was yesterday, Facebook, I received a message citing a series of photos. I had Nicole Silk reach out and record her testimony with regards to her experience and the evidence so guys listen up we're going to do a follow-up and enhance the photos that she submitted to us earlier i sent you all the pictures the ones before and after um so it was taken in okoe i was on my way home from work and the sky was super clear so i just pulled over by a cow pasture um and started just taking shots of the sky because all of the planets and you know, stars were so clear and pretty. Um, and so I just took a series of pictures real quick. I wasn't really focusing in on anything except the brightest, what to be, I thought to be a star in the sky. Um, I zoomed in on it and took a couple of quick shots um, and then I didn't even see this in the sky, honestly, until I got home and was reviewing the pictures. And 
noticed that I had caught this object in the picture, in one of the pictures. Um, so I could send you the information about that photo, which I will send it to you, so you can see the, I guess, the exposure. I don't really know much about taking pictures with the iPhones. I just zoom in, zoom out, <laughs> and then that's it. Um, maybe you can tell how, you know, by the information on the photo that I send you. Um, I learned about third phase of the moon actually from a friend of mine who watches your channel, has been watching your channel forever. And um, so I've been, I think I followed you guys. I'm not sure, but I know that I know the name, but I've been seeing your picture, your um, videos actually coming up here, up on my feed um, quite a bit on YouTube. And, and then today I was scrolling through and saw the, um, the title about, you know, the most top UFO sightings in, or things in November 2023. And I just decided to take a look at it and figured I'd send you guys a picture and see what you think of it. I can't really seem to get any answers from MUFON. Um, but I live in Murphy, North Carolina. But I saw this in actually in Ocoee, Tennessee, which is right outside of the Cherokee National Forest. My name is Nicole Silk, and I uh, hope you guys can figure out what this is. Thanks, guys. I love your channel, by the way. So I got to say, the testimony from the public as they come forward in disclosure, I find it brave for Nicole Silk to, you know, put her voice on. She's ready to actually have more interviews with regards to her sighting. Was she in the right place at the right time to capture some kind of mothership, some conical shaped unknown craft, possibly not of this earth, Brent? That's a big question. This thing looks metallic. It looks big. You can see that it's up in the air and you can almost see that it's metallic. It's reflecting a metal sheen on it with these kind of like nice contorted edges. It looks mechanical. It almost looks like it's one of ours, but then it has this aspect of uh, science fiction at the same time. If this thing's just floating along, what's keeping uh, this craft up in the sky? It has this nice, maybe even Hanabu aspect to it, which is a uh, uh, something from the past is, are we looking at new technology or something from another world again i want to mention quickly before i get uh, apollo's opinion including dr j there's the data from nicole silk her, herself she sent me the metadata the metadata behind this photo so what we're looking at in my opinion is, is up there in the sky again apollo your thoughts i, I we did some enhancements on this but i think we're making out some kind of craft up there you know the look to this really reminds me of when you look at um pieces of meteor right and it kind of has this like funky like sort of edges and things around it and it's very like metallic looking and uh it makes me wonder if maybe you know it's some sort of like space junk that's floating out there ancient space junk that's been there for millions of years like kind of going through space at some sort of orbit um but also the pyramidal structure of it c reminds me of a vimana from indian mythology so i don't know um definitely very interesting what's your take on it dr j at first it looked like it could be a non-aerodynamical piece of the apollo capsule or the tip of say a starship rocket that's coming from uh spacex but uh, we all know in our physics that we use on this planet obviously we need aerodynamics ever since that jellyfish ufo came out and all these weird crazy shapes nothing surprises me anymore this is definitely metallic like you said apollo uh, of course we know that a lot of asteroids are full of metal different types of metal even gold on some of them platinum and titanium etc i don't think this is something natural this is looks definitely something that is building whether it was us humans in the past or even recently or 
previous humans, say tens of thousands of years ago, say for instance the people who made the Vimanas, definitely somebody made this, whether it be humans or non-humans, that's what it looks like to me. You know, whatever Nicole Sill captured, I'm glad she reached out to us. Uh, we're looking at the data. There's something up there. Is it something ancient in origin? Or is it something practical in today's world? Uh, again, no answers. We're just sharing you the evidence as it comes in. We've got more evidence coming in. Major commercial airliner set to land and right off the coast of California, we're looking at something massive. A cylindrical object is hovering in the sky. We're gonna get some close-ups. Guys, tell me what you think we're looking at right now. Once again, we're gonna get some enhancements, some close-ups of this object just hovering in the sky. Somebody was smart enough to, again, capture the phenomenon. I'm hoping pilots are gonna come forward and start bringing more information, but we're looking at this. Brent, your thoughts quickly. Yeah, this is a good catch. Definitely somebody saw something out their window over there and they pulled the camera out, had the right mind to say, what the heck is this? And look at this, we got this great close-up right here. Uh, could it be a blip? It's, this thing seems much bigger than a blip. Uh, maybe I'm looking at the footage too. Could there be maybe some manipulation with the footage being stretched, making a blip look larger than it is? That's a possibility, but if that's not the case, we're looking at something that I'm not familiar with. You know, I'm wondering what people from the ground are seeing when I see this right now, because it's so high up in the sky and these uh, Tic Tac looking craft, they usually tend to be metallic. And if you were looking at this from the ground, it would just kind of mirror the sky around it and you might not even be able to see it. You know, so it's interesting these people are on the plane or capturing this. I think that's really incredible. And I wonder if anyone on the ground actually captured it. You know, that's uh, our plea to anybody over off the California southern coast right there. If they saw anything amazing in the sky, we're trying to lock down the exact location. But Dr. J, your thoughts when you looked at this today? I don't think this is a blimp at all unless it's modified. To me, it looks more like a saucer, if not a cigar shaped object. Another thing too, is if we can get the known distances from the plane to the mountain, using trigonometry, we could actually figure out the length of this craft or whatever it is. And not just that, where is the air traffic controllers? Where are the radar if it caught on radar? We need those people to come out as well. That's right, good questions there, Dr. J. Absolutely, we could triangulate uh, this object and maybe get the exact size uh, through mathematics. Uh, that's definitely possible. Again, we're pleading to the pilots if they saw anything out there, and if you've captured uh, the phenomenon, don't hesitate. Just reach out to us right here at Third Phase Moon. I know you guys are seeing things in the skies every day, but right now we're just receiving it from passengers aboard these commercial airliners, and I guess uh, we'll take it. Absolutely. Keep it up. Everybody's doing a good job. And guys, uh, we, again, we don't have any explanation of what we're looking at. We don't see any gondola underneath, uh, any propellers on this thing. This, And again, it looks to be quite massive. Now, more videos coming in. A uh, trail cam captures something we can't explain. Watch this. So this video was captured in 2022, but this is the first time we've ever uh, seen uh, this footage, this data. And I'm saying right now that I'm pretty sure this is the first time that anybody's seen this on the internet at the moment. So as we look at these dancing orbs in the light, we see some kind of possible craft in the background there. What are we looking at? Uh, weather phenomenon or something otherworldly? Yeah, Blake, when I first saw this, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Because it has you wondering, you see these plasmic lights kind of blend in and kind of dance with each other, almost uh, become one. And then it just shoots off straight, straight to the sky. Then we see this kind of like maybe jellyfish-like thing just hovering there in the background. 
And then I maybe have put it together. Is this a, a possible Elon Musk rocket launch? And we're seeing the rockets falling back to the ground and we're seeing a rocket going straight to space. And maybe that's what we're looking at. But then again, uh, nobody knows what this is. Yeah, it looks like something is almost coming out of the mist and joining with this orb that's shooting up out of the mist in a different area. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But I also wonder if maybe some sort of bug or something is in from the trail cam and it's making some sort of effect i don't think that's likely though because it definitely looks like something is coming out of the clouds here so i don't know maybe it's a bald lightning or plasma the phenomenon it happens actually all the time and people are capturing it dr j when you're looking at this did you see anything that struck uh, your idea of that this is unexplainable yeah, well, first of all, as you mentioned, the two orbs uh, seem to merge together and actually get smaller when they're one before they take off. And another thing, speaking of ball lightning, I did some research on that. That's only a theoretical explanation. No scientist has ever actually concluded what it is and why it's called. Actually, the first person to label something ball lightning was Dr. J. Allen Hynek back when he was running, running Project Blue Book. Uh, this is very, very weird, and I like how bright it is in a trail cam. You know, you're exactly right. The phenomenon of ball lightning still remains a mystery to physicists and science alike. So at the moment, third phase of moon, I think, has one of the biggest archives of the ball lightning phenomenon on the planet are we looking at something that could be biological in nature again these things seem to be attracted to one another and this thing back in the background still is interesting to me could it be some kind of ufo and these are uh, some kind of drones uh, set to uh, descend upon us i'm not exactly sure go ahead dr j I was just going to say, you said the magic word, it's something I've written down, organic. Is this possibly something biological that's in the sky? Maybe not metallic, not, not such a structured craft. So we have to keep that possibility open as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, guys, I want to get your opinions in this live premiere. We're showcasing a lot of footage tonight. And let me tell you, things are blowing up right here at Third Phase Moon. Our best of videos of November 2022 is just over a half a million views. Uh, people are watching our archives and the evidence as it comes in on a daily basis. So let's get into the next video. And again, what we're sharing with you, we want to be open minded and we want to share it as it comes in. And then we could give our opinions, but we want to remain kind of grounded with the evidence as we display it to the people around the world. Let's roll this one. All right, it, it's a quick video, uh, broad daylight. Uh, we're seeing somebody, uh, we don't know the exact location, looking from the precipice down in a canyon and captures something extraordinary. Are, are we looking at something uh, that's legit or is this some kind of a hoax going on? Uh, I got a funny feeling about this one, Brett. Yeah, a couple of people has been sharing this. Uh, got it in my Gmail and Facebook. Somebody said, you gotta analyze this. Is this legit? Because they actually fell for it. I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm seeing some really true tell, tell signs about how uh, computer CGI works. And this is looking like a simple software of a fake uh, blur. And then you don't even see the background parallaxing when it's on the mountain. I think it's actually just a still photo and then they just inserted it in uh, and then uh, masked it around the mountain. Really simple stuff. Yeah, I mean, I definitely couldn't have explained it better than that. <laughs> you know, it definitely looks uh, not quite real to me. I see a, a lot of blurred edges and just weird spaces. But I don't know. What are your thoughts, Dr. J? Uh, you know what? Obviously, we always have to 
make sure or or be open to the possibility that things could be faked but if this is real this looks like not necessarily a top shape but more like a diamond shape very similar to the cash landrum incident back in texas i believe in 1980 or even just before that where they saw a diamond shaped craft chased by 20 chinooks helicopters uh it's going very slowly you don't see anything mechanical moving you don't see propellers or anything like that so if it is real this is one of the better ones i have to say you know uh definitely we're open-minded uh, i think over the years of looking at the evidence coming in from around the world at third phase moon for over a decade we're uh, i think we're pretty comfortable to say that somebody manipulated this but like you say dr j we just don't know and hopefully it's real but i think maybe in the next few days or maybe tomorrow we're going to find out uh, more information about this particular video making the round so we'll keep an eye on it now more videos coming in uh, to third phase of moon and we want to share it as quick as possible so let's roll it did you see that uh again the trail cam footage is where it's at it continues to roll wildlife uh, triggers things you see the deer that i think triggered the trail cam but then all of a sudden something shoots across the sky in a perfect plane i'm not exactly sure what we're looking at but uh, it looks bizarre that's why we're sharing it yeah again look at this thing it just zips by the camera the deer doesn't even flinch it's interesting i wonder if it's aware of what just uh, passed it Again, we see this kind of plasmic, uh, whatever it is, just kind of coming from the far off distance and make its way past the camera. Pretty cool stuff. Again, could it just be some sort of maybe a floating trash, something very light gossamer just floating in the wind and it just shot past uh, the camera, caught it on the trail cam? Or is this something uh, more special? Yeah, and I'm going to do some enhancements right now, slow it down and actually maybe get a still photo of uh, this from the original video. Yeah, I was actually wondering if maybe this was an owl, you know, it's night and it seems to be something flying by. But then when you look at it, it stops here. I don't see any wings. So, I mean, unless it's kind of aerodynamic and putting the wings at the sides, it doesn't really make sense that it would be an owl to me. So I don't know what else it could be. Um, I mean, it definitely looks like bright white. Maybe it's lit up or something. I'm not sure. You know, you bring up the owl aspect. That's interesting. Is it swooping? Again, it seems so uh, much on this trajectory of, of a horizontal. So I'm not exactly sure. Swooping owl or something else, Dr. J? You know, I you hit the head on the nail. I don't know if it's an owl or a bird or anything like that, but it seems way, way too fast to be any sort of animal that we have on Earth. And then when you freeze the frame, the shape looks kind of weird. You don't see any flapping of wings or anything like that. Now, is it really small and close? or is it a little bigger but further than the deer? And one other thing, why did the deer not respond? If it was something predatory, the deer definitely would have looked up or run away or something. Uh, again, I go back to the fact that this is so fast that I don't even know if the deer caught it. Yeah, good call, Dr. J. Those owls are pretty stealthy when they swoop by and they could be pretty silent, but yeah, again, very strange. And this is a strange one that uh, we wanted to share with you once again, right here at Third Phase of Moon. Something that we have have no explanation to has been captured again off the California coast. I think this is coming in from Camarillo, California, and somebody captured things that you know, must still boggle their minds even to this day, because right now we don't have an explanation of what they captured. Brent, your thoughts? Yeah, this one always interested me. You could look at this thing, and if you caught this on camera, you would say, what the heck is this? Because I still don't know what it is. I've never seen a balloon shape like this. Uh, point it out if you do. But right now, we're looking at something, again, it's unexplained. Yeah, I definitely don't think this would be a balloon. And it almost has these, like, wings or, like, pointed things 
sort of pointing up at the top and I don't know what that could possibly be so but it seems to be floating very slowly or having these sort of um, slow maneuvers yeah again Dr. J you looked at this you called it like an inverted Viking helmet quickly yeah yeah this one's definitely more like an inverted Viking helmet it's definitely weird I've never seen anything shaped like that but at the same time over the last decade we've seen more different shapes than we've ever seen before are we being visited by things that have never been here before until recently or is this new technology that we're testing but i have a theory about that uh, if we're testing something why would, would we test it in civilian areas we have groom lake you guys have all been to area 51 or at least outside of it and you saw the security up there and how much area they have to test things you know it, it strikes me as strange to do this in a residential area you know again i'm hoping more people capture that phenomenon over there in California, Camarillo, something happened. And again, I think this came in just down the road, Santa Monica, something was captured over the sky and we're looking at it right now. Are we looking at some kind of new propaganda advertisement display or is this some kind of surveillance drone? Again, it's kind of ominous, but we don't have an explanation of what's going on here. Yeah, this is bizarre. We're looking at this thing. It's up there. We see these lights, the red and white, and it, it makes this uh, rotation. Uh, if you saw this while you're walking the streets of Santa Monica, what do you think you're being spied on? Oh, absolutely. Is this new technology that's just about to be uh, dropping? Or is this something uh, maybe nefarious? Could it be a hoax? That's a possibility. But in my opinion, I think this is up there. Yeah, you know, this red and blue light on it is actually coming off as very ominous to me. I mean, it looks like something that could be in the Terminator or something. But uh, it, it does sort of make me feel like a, it's a spy craft or something like that because of the way it's kind of turning and um, just sort of hovering in one spot. It just seems to, that it's kind of projecting something onto the ground. I don't know. That's what I think when I see this. Dr. J? This one's interesting. Again, another diamond shape or top shape because it's like two inverted pyramids stacked, uh, you know, on top of each other. And on top of that, the lights are not blinking according to FAA regulations. That's what makes us suspect. Yeah, good call. And again, I think everybody is on the table right here. And again, again I want to get your thoughts in this live premiere. Does this look kind of like a law enforcement drone out there uh, we're just throwing it out there but again it has this kind of a uh, feeling that it's spying on people but again we don't have a any explanation is this a kite or is this some kind of propped up drone a balloon uh, we're not we're not exactly sure but we want to get your thoughts for sure now again you guys want to see broad daylight ufo videos people say they're not clear enough we got one for you that pretty much it reminds me of that Bob Lazar shit. Check it out. It's one of those videos that makes you think, and we're gonna play it back in reverse right here, forward and backward of this craft that seemingly just hangs up in the air. No prop propeller blades whatsoever. Uh, nothing indicating uh, propulsion that we could explain. And we're gonna get some close-ups on it. This is showcasing something, in my opinion, that is exotic in nature. Yeah, we're looking at this thing. If it's a vehicle, it's moving uh, very stealthily because it has this like nice motion. Drones kind of oscillate and you can see the prop propellers. We're seeing nothing on this. It's it's just smooth it's gliding and it it's kind of rock solid no oscillation again uh, then we get these really great close-up shots of it we see this kind of red kind of maybe uh something protruding from the bottom of this craft and then uh, it has this again blake the classic bob lazar craft uh, that's it it's a it's a dead ringer this one definitely looks like a classic i'm loving this 
um, you know, I am seeing what you were pointing out, Brent, of this like red light at the bottom. It almost seems like a little siren light and it's red. But then when it goes over, you don't see it anymore. I guess maybe that's from the sun behind the craft. Um, it looks like someone's in their car filming this. So I think that's really interesting. Like maybe they're just driving and it flew over. So that's pretty cool. You know, uh, this is what people want to see. The broad daylight flying saucers. I, I think um, we're looking at it. Some people might dismiss this as some kind of just drone, but again, where's the indicator of propulsion here? Do you see any, Dr. J? No, not at all. No exhaust, no propellers, no wings, nothing like that. Straight, like you said, from Bob Lazar's sport model. Uh, that's why I love this so much. And it's going so slow. And you see no propellers, no wings, no exhaust, nothing like that. If we have a drone that goes up, obviously you have to have some sort of lift, such as, you know, propellers. We don't see anything like that. And I'm assuming this per this thing had no noise either. Uh, straight out of a comic book, straight out of a movie, and straight out of S4. This is truly an amazing video. Guys, if you've enjoyed this episode tonight, make sure you share the link on your social media get the word out third phase of moon is sharing the evidence that the world needs to see uh, we're breaking it the major media is not uh, we're talking to the public and they know to reach out to us if they've captured the phenomenon my emails in the description everybody be safe keep your eyes on the skies uh, blake cousins be we'll see you next time over and out we'll check you next time 10 four.